The time has come for us to rise. Rise and reclaim our Imperial pride. Victory was within our grasp, and yet the foolish cowards who govern us chose to abandon it. But though they may turn a blind eye to the threat of the East, you know as well as we do that it remains ever present. The Imperial Army turned tail and fled, but we can still take up arms and fight! Together, we can defeat Calvert and all who resist us, and reign supreme over the continent! I only ask for your patience for a short while longer, citizens of Crossbell. For soon, we will force the ignorant to open their eyes and see we must strike Calvert! <clears throat> Just how much longer do we have to suffer like this? Who cares about dominating Zemuria? All we wanted was peace. You there! It's that traitorous talk I hear! So... You sided with the Rebellion then, have you? <gasps> the hell's this? What's happening to the broadcast? Hold up. Isn't that the... Yeah, yeah! It totally is! It's them, Cup! Hello, one and all. We are Arkenseal. We are here to share the completed version of our preview performance. One born from sweat, tears, and love for our craft. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us. This marks our official return to the stage, and we hope we've made it worth the wait. May your heart sing, Crossbell, as you bear witness to the greatest performance Zemuria has to offer! The star, the moon, and the sun's radiance bid you welcome to the dream of a million nights!
going on? Th that's enough! Huh? You're... Hello, sweethearts. Well, time to play. Are you ready, Vald? Ha! Been ready. Now, let's raise some hell! Twin Arcane Gale! Ugh! It, it's the Divine Blade of Wind! All clear on my end, Arios. Come on, Eolia. Let's take him out in one go. <laughs> I'll be right here to support you. Risha! I see now. Operation! Crossbell Guardian Force, prepare to engage in combat and liberate our home for good! Fan out and coordinate with police in each district. Prioritize civilian safety. Remember, our job is to distract enemy forces for as long as they need. Ma'am! All units, neutralize and apprehend the defense force. Time is of the essence. I'm counting on you. Sir! Right. When did he...? He's back! All right, it's go time. Let's show him that the CPD's cops aren't just for show. Only these pests had stayed underground where they belong. Zalber Sodot unit, begin subjugation! Sir! Huh. They've saved us the trouble of hunting them down. Now we can eliminate these rebels once and for all. It's not going to be that easy. <sighs> Way to show him! That went well, didn't it? <laughs> Everything's falling into place now. Yeah. Tia, Yuna, I need you to get ready. Roger that! Now installing anti-corruption system! Yes! Consider their communications network mine! Now it's time to shake up their chain of command! Just let me know what you need, Yona. Enemy Zauber soldats engaged! Now preparing to intercept and take them out with our armored units! It's all you now, guys. So far, so good. Next. Sorry for the wait. We're ready for action. Begin the final phase of the operation. Time to do this. Okay, I'll send you the coordinates right away. <laughs> Here comes the grand finale. Please, Adios. Watch over them. We are counting on each and every one of you. Please, return Crossbell to us. Right! Ah! Defensive field now in place! 
Anti-corruption system all green. Beginning countdown. Three. Two. One. Zero! Zorg doing? That's right. We're here to arrest you on suspicion of occupying this city and imprisoning its civilians. Come on. Let's get to work. Right. right. Whew. That was rough. But we pulled through. Doubted we would for a second. Okay, getting in wasn't too bad. Thanks for helping us out, Yuna. This couldn't afford to fail. And thanks to you, it didn't. Oh, I don't know. Any more pressure, and my heart would have come bursting out of my chest. I could only be at my best because I knew you guys were going to back me up. My training at Thor's helped, of course. <laughs> now that makes a teacher proud. One year later, and look at you! You're a whole new you! <laughs> Give it a rest, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you're okay. The anti-corruption system must have worked. Looks like there's no worrying about those Zauber soldats having a negative effect on our minds this way. We owe Erebonia and Liberal's teams for passing along their Black Workshop research data. Couldn't agree more. Now we can... Oh, we got through! <gasps> you guys okay? We were watching from the ground. I'm so glad you made it in. You've got some real balls to bank on smashing straight through the middle of the tower. But then, pulling crazy stunts is what you do. Hey, what's a risky operation without its spice? Pass on my thanks to everyone for distracting the troops on the ground, by the way. Wait, you sure you got time for updates now, Risha? Aren't you performing? I'll have to go in a bit, but I'm not in this scene, so it's fine. I can't put into words how wonderful it feels to see Ely on stage again. I'm sure. I'm overjoyed that she's back, too. Physical therapy is brutal, but if anyone was going to pull through, it was her. I wish I could see her come back in person. They're recording it, at least. How about we do a group watch once we're back? Now that, I wouldn't miss. We've deployed officers to evacuate civilians and guard our concealed. That means you can focus all your efforts on the tower. You get to be the real stars of the day here, so don't mess this up. Relax. We won't. The end's in sight. All that's left is for you to bring in their top brass from the tower. You know what to do, so kick some ass up there! Right! 
It's incredible how many people have our backs. I know. And we've got to do every one of them proud. Yep. So let's make sure... Do you think it's over? I don't know. Just what was that loud noise? It's you! You're the special support section! Idios above! Did you come to save us? Oh! All of you work in this building, yes? I guess they weren't letting you leave. Hmm. It'd be right to leave them here. We'll have to make a trip down to find a safe place for them. I've got a better idea. You've got to keep your focus on the operation. Let me escort them down instead. Are you sure? You don't want any of us to come with? <laughs> Never underestimate a Thor student. I could handle this part in my sleep at this point. Sure, I was hoping to be there at the top. But this thing's bigger than anything I want. And I don't need to see to know you'll win. Thank you, Yuna. For putting your faith in us. We'll leave the tower employees with you then. You're the only one we can count on for this. Take care on the way down. Will do. All right, let's go knock some heads and some sense into these Defense Force goons. Yeah, so many are putting everything on the line for us. We can't waste this chance. Not a second. We won't let them down. Not Yuna, not Kia, not anyone. This is it. Here's the last hurdle standing between us and Crossbell's liberation. So let's see us get over it. Then we can take back our home. According to the data obtained, this should be their command center. Their leaders aren't going down without a fight. Make sure you're ready. Now let's go! Where the hell are they? 
But that data came from a trusted source. Hi there. Looking good so far, guys. Thanks. Anything going on? Well, we noticed something weird going on inside and wanted to give you a heads up. The defense force started migrating to the rooftop not long after you busted in. You don't think they're trying to escape via airship, do you? As much as I'd rather they answered for their crimes, them leaving Crossbell would make this operation at least a partial success. That doesn't seem to be the case, weirdly enough. I didn't- Oh, something is up. That I know for sure. So just be careful, okay? Gotcha. Thanks. We'll keep that in mind. Sounds like everything on the ground will be under control before long. So do what you gotta do! May Adios be with you all! Hmm... Kido being nervous has got me nervous. Likewise. She may not be able to see causality the way she could during the Twilight, but we can't ignore her instincts. Yeah, well... Victory's still in sight as long as they're in the tower. So... We'll make our way for the rooftop. We'll be smart about it. There they are! The, the SSS? We should have known. I'm aware of who you are and that you used to serve the former Governor General. So I'll skip the prelude. You're under arrest on suspicion of leading an over three-month occupation of the city, effectively detaining its citizens. Your arrest comes at the behest of the provisional government of Erebonia. Now please, we ask that you do not resist. Never, you lowly police dog! We'll never be stopped by the likes of you! Whatever it takes, we will reignite the war. And when we do, the Republic will be the first to fall to our feet! And then the whole continent will follow! That's right. It's the only way His Excellency's legacy can live on and Erebonia's pride be restored! Why are you so desperate for more war? They're behaving like the Twilight is ongoing. But it's long been over. Yeah. The source of it is gone. And the curse that drove people toward war should have gone with it. it. Must be that some of those it drove to the brink feel like there's no turning back. But you must have realized by now, right? Your plan can't possibly succeed. What? What makes you say that? What doesn't? Anyone would say that. After occupying Crossbell for a quarter of a year, doggedly trying to rile the population into a new war, who's risen in support of your efforts? No one. <sighs> I'm sure with a little more time... The way most see it, you're just being sore losers who refuse to get with the program. The people's hearts won't be moved by you strutting around like you own the place. And neither will Imperial policy. If we don't end this now, it'll only be a matter of time before Calvert grows tired of you acting out and ends this with force. And with no one here supporting your cause, how well do you think you'll do against them? The war is over, and I'm sure deep down, you've known that all along. So why are you still... Uh, do you expect us to throw away our pride and give up? The Empire staked everything on that war. Our pride, our lives, our future. And then after less than a day, the Chancellor is killed, the Governor General is arrested, and the entire thing is called off? And to add insult to injury, we were forced to pay reparations to the Republic? How could we accept that? We did everything our country asked of us. However cruel, however immoral, and for what? Not for pride, but for humiliation beyond measure. 
They let the curse take root, and now it's led them too far astray. They're trapped between a reality they can't accept, and a failed dream they can't return to. <sighs> I can't pretend not to understand how you feel. Everyone in Crossbell can understand. Greater powers have squabbled over us like children do with toys. Reduce our lives to a series of hardships, taken what we treasure, trampled on our pride. But will your goals here restore your pride? I'm telling you, it won't. Betraying the good people of Zamuria through these horrific acts of terrorism will never bring you salvation. If by some miracle you succeed, will you honestly truly ever be able to hold your heads high knowing what it took? Is that all the pride you're fighting for amounts to? Of course not! <laughs> I refuse to be lectured on pride by a cross Belen. He's not lecturing you. He's telling you where you'll go because it's where we've been. We know what it's like to face an impossible choice. We could have saved Crossbell from ever having to endure another day of hardship. All it would have taken was a single, very personal price. But we turned down that once-in-a-lifetime chance. It's what he said. If by some miracle we succeeded, could we have held our heads high? Could our loved ones on our behalf? Even if the end result was what we were hoping for, the cost to achieve it would have brought us nothing but shame. <sighs> we signed up for a couple of rough years instead, and we couldn't be prouder for it. We didn't want just us to hold our heads up high. We wanted our little daughter to hold hers up high too. So if we can make that choice, so can all of you. My time in the Empire showed me something. That you're every bit as capable as we are of facing hardship if it means a better tomorrow. Look, if all we've said now isn't enough to sway you, we can always do this the hard way. We're not just doing this for us. We want everyone who was hurt by the war to move on. And that includes all of you! You really want to help us? <laughs> Just how naive can you children be? It's too late for us to turn back! How long has that been here? Uh, uh, Selber Soldat? Isn't this the Leviathan we were told about? No, it's similar, but I think it's a different model. <laughs> Behold! Our secret weapon! An experimental unit developed alongside the Leviathan, but scrapped before seeing the light of day. A fitting ally for soldiers spurned by history like us, wouldn't you say? Where did they even get something like that? I don't know, but if they're not bluffing, its strength might be on par with the Leviathans. Go! Crush them and their homeland, Asmodine! This end can be the spark that ignites the flames of war once more! We won't let you lay a finger on our home! Damn right. We'll take this down and then it's your turn! Think Tin Man over here will beat us? Think again! We've endured far worse these past two years to let something this small ever stop us! Or a rain! Berserker! Uh, rising Sun This can't be happening. 
Our victory was all but assured. Damn it all! We did it, right? <laughs> that was rough. But it's down now, so... Yeah. The time is 5.14 p.m. In accordance with the powers vested in me by the Provisional Government of Erebonia to act on their behalf, I hereby proclaim all of you under arrest. Please, do not resist. did it. We made the right call. Because Crossbell, our home, is finally free. And it took all of us. This is one to be proud of. Nice work, leader.
Ladies and gentlemen, our day in the sun has finally arrived. And I, Grace Lynn of the Crossbell Times, am here to make sure you don't miss a moment of this monumental occasion. At 2 p.m. today, the signing ceremony for Crossbell's independence will take place in this very spot. What you are about to witness is going to be historic, not just for Crossbell, but for this whole continent. Let's get some live reactions from folks on the street. <clears throat> to tell you the truth, I never dreamed we would achieve independence again quite like this. It's been two years since we came under Erebonian control. Two years that dragged on, yet flew by at the same time. I struggle to describe just how moved I am when I acknowledge that we are about to finally achieve our long-cherished desire. Now, if everyone would join me. Three cheers for Crossbell! <laughs> Nervous is the short answer. We're all really busy trying to ensure everything goes ahead smoothly. It's incredible to think that everything we fought for is about to pay off. But I can't imagine we would have gotten this far if not for the efforts of the special support section. As a fellow police officer, I'm beyond proud of them for all they've done for us. Yeah! The SSS are awesome! You guys are Crossbell's heroes! Look! Speaker McDowell has arrived on the scene. Mr. Speaker, could you please tell us how you're feeling with the ceremony about to begin? I'd love to hear about the relationship between your beautiful secretary and the leader of the SSS while you're at it. Um, Race? <sighs> Not you again. The Speaker is a busy man, you know. Now, now, I see no harm in giving her a little of my time. Crossbell can only take this momentous step forward, thanks to the help of all who live here, and our many neighbors. As both a government official and as a fellow citizen of this great state, I am deeply grateful to all who supported us. I hope that you will continue to watch over us as we walk toward our new future hand in hand. The day is finally here, Guy. I know it took us a while, but peace in Crossbell is finally within reach. Though, this will probably be where the real hard work begins. Hard's got nothing on us! So long as we're together, everything's gonna be easy breezy. You guys already put in 100%, and I plan on doing the same. A hundred and ten is more like it, and you can always count on me for support. Watch over us, Guy, Lloyd, and all of Crossbell. All right. I think it's time we got going. You and Kia both have things on the to-do list today, don't you? That's right. I was thinking of checking in on Elia. It's only been a month since she finished rehab, and she's already got her engines running at full blast. <laughs> I'd be more worried if she wasn't doing that. But yeah, I'm meeting Shizuku at the guild. Oh yeah. She's back home after evacuating to Remiferia. Well, I'm on patrol before the signing ceremony begins. So I'll pop by to say hey when I'm close, okay? That works for me. I'll see you in a bit. Bye! We'll finally be independent. Whatever work I have to put in to keep it that way will be worth every second. I'm here, now and always, as a detective and a proud member of the SSS. Aha! <laughs> There you are. Lloyd! 
Hey! So, Noelle, Wazi, what brings you here? I'm handling security detail. Hia was just here, right? I bumped into her at the signing ceremony site, and she said where she'd be going. And I've only been dragged here because Archbishop Aralda will be present. This is all unusual, even by the church's standards. So they needed more bodies to make the arrangements less hectic. Ah, oh, come on. Don't act like you're just anyone. <laughs> Feels like it's been a whole lifetime since we've gotten a chance to talk, huh? But it's only been a month since the operation. We did meet up at the prince's wedding, but it got so busy after that that we haven't had a chance to really sit down. And all my running in and out of Artarius made me miss just being here. So you know, it's nice to be home. Hasn't been the same without you, Wazi. And seriously, way to go, Noel. Security detail for this is no small task. Thanks. Couldn't manage it without you and the rest of the team, though. Fancy running into you here, Father Wazi. And you've brought a couple of friends in tow. Oh, hey, Scarlet. If I remember correctly, she's... Indeed. As you can see, I've managed to sneak away from my duties long enough for a hot date with my boy toy here. We'll be patrolling the city, so I leave the rest of our work in your capable hands. Can you not say things that'll confuse her? Ah, uh, you're the squire who helped us in the operation, right? Thank you so much. We didn't have much time for introductions then, did we? Still, I've heard plenty about you. They weren't kidding about how cute you are. <laughs> uh, Scarlet? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Catch you later.
What a weird trio you guys make. Hi, Randy. Hi, Murray. Doing well? I'd say they are. Are we interrupting your date? Date? <laughs> That's not what we're doing. I was asking for his input on today's security measures as a valued former member of the Guardian Force. <laughs> Come on, be honest. Just say you're happy you get to spend time with me now that I've wrapped up my work in the Empire. No! Stop making things up! Congratulations on Crossbell's re-independence. Once things have calmed down a bit, I'd love to be able to visit. Can't wait. I wish I could be there for the signing ceremony, but good luck with security. Next time I'm home, I'll be sure to drop by the SSS HQ with some souvenirs.
Boyd, hitting the pavement with Noel and Wazi, huh? How goes the patrol? So far, so good, Chief. And hello, Commander? I didn't realize you'd be here when we stopped by. Well, surprise. I had some business to attend to here. You're assisting the SSS, then? Security detail has mostly been handled, so I don't suppose that's a problem. <laughs> Is it just me, though, or are you more gung-ho with their business than with the CGFs? Well, look who it is! Welcome to the Crossbell branch of the Bracer Guild! It's good to see you looking so well, Michelle. Is Kia here? She is indeed. The little princesses are both over there. <laughs> oh, hey, Lloyd! Hello! It's good to see you again. Likewise! You look well, Shizuku. Aw, thank you. So do all of you. I may have had to leave Crossbell for quite a while, but it's lovely to be back. You've really grown since I last saw you. Ario said you take shelter in Remiferia, right? Yes. That was just before warrants were issued for him and all of you. I still feel awful about how easy I had it, relatively speaking, when times were so hard for everyone. You've got nothing to feel bad about. 
letters you sent us really kept us motivated when things felt bleak. Yeah! It's like you were right there cheering us all on. So be happy, okay? I know we're extra happy to be able to see you again. Oh. <laughs> I feel the same. Oh, my heart's about to burst. It's been a hard two years, but moments like this make it all feel worth it. <laughs> we couldn't agree more. Oh, hey there. Perfect timing. Welcome back, Father. Thank you, Shizuku. And Michelle, we're reporting in. Let's do what we can together, Father. I know you aren't ready to forgive yourself, but until that day comes, I want to be the shoulder you can lean on. You've always been so supportive of me, so I just know there's nothing we can't face so long as we face it together. Shizuku. We'll do all we can do, too! 
Of course, we'll always be honored to count you among our allies, Arios. We're all charged with protecting the people of Crossbell. So let's do that. For them, and for Guy. The CGF will be right there with you too. We're all united in wanting what's best for Crossbell. We've all just got to do our jobs the best we can, and everything else will fall into place. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. You really have grown strong, Shizuku. I almost mistook you for your mother for a second. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. Ah, different day, same BS from you guys. Everyone having fun over there? Hey, it's Wazzy! I thought you said you were busy. We'd given up on you showing your mug. But here you are with a side of the SSS and a Guardian Force chick. I should have known you'd be the loud ones in here. It's funny seeing former gang members having a good clean time like this. Especially... Hey there, Bannings. Can't even take it easy on a day we're supposed to be taking it easy, huh?
you know, I'd like to look into revamping the overall frame for the next prototype. I'm still intrigued by wanting to implement the Foundation's latest tech into it. Sounds like it's gonna be a real head-scratcher, but that's half the fun. Hmm. We'll likely need the RF and Vern Company's cooperation to draft out the concept. Absolutely. We plan to hammer out the finer details after the signing ceremony, so we can... That whole conversation's going straight over my head. I know that younger blonde-haired girl's from the Liberal Kingdom. Didn't realize she's in Crossbell. I don't know the other blonde in the lab coat, though. Whoa. The hell you doing here, Bannings? Haven't seen you since Shara and that idiot's wedding. Doing well? I know the ink ain't dried yet, but congrats on Crossbell's independence. Hey, Red! I don't remember saying you could slack off! Oh, hello there. Long time no see, Lloyd. Yeah. Long time no see. And, um... <laughs> I thought I made it as clear as your face is stupid, Agate. The only reason I let you come is because Tita is in need of a research assistant. You've got a whole lot of nerve working that jaw with some other group in the middle of a meeting. What do you expect? I don't know shit about what you're talking about. It'd be one thing if it was like the activation test we started off doing, or you wanted me to do some heavy lifting, but... No excuses. That's one ding. Two more and you're on the first flight back to Liberal. And I hope you love the outdoors, because your flight is going to be through my special Crossner catapult! Ha ha ha! Was that the huge hunk of junk you made me carry all the way over here? Oh, just, what is your damage, woman? Mom, stop! Can't you behave while we're in a whole other country?
Mmm. Nothing beats ice cream after a job well done. I'm glad that stall in the entertainment district was still there. Although, I'm guessing we won't have much time to relax like this going forward. With all the guild work we need to do. I mean, yeah. But that's why we've got to make the most of every chance we get. Oh, you've got some on your cheek. Mmm. <laughs> the flavor you got is really nice, too. Knew I should have gotten a double. Amazing weather, delicious ice cream, a primo eating spot. It's like a dream. Huh? What's up? You've gone totally red. Yeah, I still can't get over the way you do stuff like that without batting an eye. I thought I'd gotten used to it, but you still catch me off guard sometimes. Wait, what? What'd I do? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You want another bite? Ah, uh, heck yeah I do! You're the best, Joshua. Lay it on me! Ah. Uh... Yeah, maybe not in public? <laughs> oh, come on! We haven't had a chance to do this in ages! Pretty please? Oh. Uh, hey there, you two. We, uh, didn't mean to interrupt. How long have you been there? Goodness! This is simply divine! <laughs> I'm glad it meets with your approval. I can feel my fatigue fading away with every sip. Well noted. It is a variety of Earl Grey from Orid, particularly suited for easing exhaustion. I find it goes especially well with these scones, too. Thank you very much.
As someone who cares about Crossbell, I'm just so happy that you'll finally have your independence. But even if our international relationship changes, I hope we can stay close friends, Ellie. I feel very much the same way. Here's to lifting each other up, always. Good. This has been coming along quite nicely for us only being a month in. Though, Risha, I think you're missing some more oomph in your steps with the chorus. And I think you're getting stuck in your previous position with the old number of performers, Sully. Forget the old, adjust with the new, feel the energy of the stage. All in all, inspiring work. Inspiring enough that I think we'll nail it if we practice even more before tonight. Okay. okay. Oh, hey, Cecile. Well, when did you sneak in? <sighs> Couldn't have picked a better time than in the middle of practice, couldn't we have? No way. I'm happier seeing Ilya back to 100%. And I keep telling her not to push it beyond that. Though I can't be too hard on her since she's been good about it. Oh, I've been taking plenty of breaks just to avoid getting a good talking to. It isn't my favorite little guy with friends in tow. Doing well, I hope. Hi there. It's so nice of you to stop by. What's up? Glad to stop by. And it's nice to see you doing so much better, Ilya. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were never hurt. Oh, you think a few injuries could stop little old me? Think again.
Risha, we can't do rehearsal without you. It's like you get absorbed into your own little world whenever he shows up. Uh, was that really necessary? Uh, I don't believe my eyes. Did you go up a cup? How those monster melons continue to evolve, I'll never know. I better inspect for padding. Could you please stop? Dudley speaking. How goes your patrol, Bannings? Hey there, Lloyd.
finally on the cusp of grasping true independence. The Crossbell's journey is just beginning. It's up to us to keep fighting for everyone if we want our home to truly prosper. So let's do our best to keep the people of Crossbell safe.
seems you're no worse for wear after all that hard work. Uh, it's nice to see you all. But how did you know we'd be coming out here? We were told about your investigation into the underground. Dudley? Hell, even Murray and the Commander. He invited us. And you can't say no to that face. Yeah, she helped me get away from work to finally have my lunch, so it happened to work out. Looks like. This might have been overkill though, right? No way! Lunch is always more fun with tons of people. I wanted Shizuku to come too, but she had some stuff going on with her dad. That's too bad. And Elia wanted to go nuts on solo practice. That sounds like Elia to me. I'll just bring her something later. These kinds of get-togethers aren't so bad every once in a while. I guess. Just making it clear, we don't have anything special on the menu. No one is expecting a five-course meal. But I'll be making sure that whatever you eat is at least better than one of your cigarettes. Please don't. <laughs> Something up, Lloyd? Oh, I'm fine. It's more it's finally hitting me that we're home. I know it's just another day like the day before, but... Something about it feels so different. Yeah. I think we can all relate to that. I know I can. Everything we struggled through was so we could have moments like these. Mm-hmm. It's been a hard couple of years. And I'm so happy we pulled through. Well, you're damn right we did. Well, the hard part's over. We got what we wanted. Now we gotta protect it. And we'll do it with gusto. need a lot of food to perk you up for a hard afternoon.
It has been a long winter for Crossbell. Since becoming an Imperial province, no. Since we asserted our autonomy over 70 years ago, we have faced countless ordeals. We have been toyed with by neighbors, scarred by terrorism, upended by chaos, challenged by unknowns, and robbed of sovereignty. During the war, our home even served as the front line. Much had been taken from us in that bitter conflict. Such deep wounds are not easily healed. At times, they even go on to birth yet more tragedy. But no matter what hardships we faced, the people of Crossbell kept pride in their hearts. They weathered each and every storm, always dreaming of a brighter tomorrow. It is because of that, I believe, that we stand here today. As a fellow citizen of Crossbell, I wish to thank every one of you for never losing heart. This day, we begin a new page in the history of Crossbell, as well as for this whole continent. May we not dwell on the past. May we instead look toward a future where we all can move forward in harmony. I earnestly hope this ceremony marks our first step toward that future, serving as a beacon of hope to the children of our age. In the name of the Goddess of the Holy City of Artaria, I reassert the legitimacy of Crossbell State's independence. Speaker McDowell, please step forward once more. Stay your pen, Mr. Speaker. Hmm? Owen. Well, this is some kind of joke, right? It's the former Governor General. Good day to you all, dear citizens of Crossbell. I do hope you will forgive my late arrival. What's this bastard think he's doing? I can't believe this is happening. We've got to stop them! How are they so well trained? Hell out of my way, assholes! This isn't looking good. Stand down, damn you! Everyone! Lord Rufus, what is the meaning of this? Why, I simply came to register my objection to that declaration you were about to sign. You see, this region's independence will be a defining moment for the continent as a whole. Should you not try to dream a little larger than becoming a church-sanctioned state? What do you mean? I thought I might suggest a more fitting form for Crossbell's independence. After all, I did once govern this region. Take your suggestions and shove it! What are you even doing here? We're supposed to be locked up in an Imperial jail. And who are those soldiers with you? Ah, what a pleasure it is to see you all again. I've simply come to address some unfinished business. As the primary member of the Iron Bloods, 
It falls to me to see that the late Chancellor's ambitions are realized. What do you mean by that? That fight's long over! Long time no see, SSS. It's time we got even for the way you humiliated us last month! You're the soldiers who occupied the city! But why? Damn it! I see every word we said fell on deaf ears. I'll have it your way. We'll defeat you as many times as it takes! Every last one of you is under arrest for terrorist threats against the people of Crossbell! Think we'll just let you have your way? Think again! <laughs> Take care of them, Ebon Defense Force. Glory to the Supreme Leader! We fight in his name! They're so strong. What the hell? These can't be the same guys from last month. Ha! You don't stand a chance against us as we are now. We are the Ebon Defense Force, and we live to serve our leader and our cause! What's that black aura they're giving off? It's like the Great Twilight's Curse. This can't be happening, or the SSS not winning! Hang in there, everyone. You can't lose to the likes of them! Kia, you can't give up! We need you! Damn right we ain't giving up. Not when we finally have the freedom we've been fighting for in sight. Exactly. We won't let you steal it from us! So long as the SSS is here, we won't let you turn back the clock! Everyone! Sorry to leave you hanging. We'll back you up! Well, Wazi, Risha... Right. Counting on you. Huh. However many of you there are, it makes no difference. <laughs> so long as the SSS is here, he says. What's so funny? Forgive me. I couldn't help myself. It pains me to see the people of this city clinging to such a pathetic delusion. As much as it does seeing you believe in it. But fear not. I shall put an end to this reverie. It is time for the rot to be purged from the minds of Crossbell's people, so that they may see the SSS for what it is, a symbol of how warped this land has become. You just love the sound of your own voice, huh? After me, everyone. We'll wipe that smirk right off his smug face. How is he so strong? There are seven of us, and only one of him. Uh, Noe! This isn't good. No! No! Guys! Oh, this can't be happening! How could the SSS lose? We... We haven't lost yet! Crossbell's dream of independence is finally about to come true! So we can't back down now. We will... We will have our freedom! Uh, Lloyd... Lloyd... Ah... <sighs> the very picture of a hero. However... Crossbell has no need for you any longer. Now kindly get off the stage. Lloyd! No, Lloyd! Hey, you can't go down now! No! They... lost? We're done for! Crossbell is finished!
Far from it, my dear friends. This land will require the protection of the SSS, the police, and the Crossbell Guardian Force no longer. From now on, you will be kept safe by the Ebon Defense Force and my esteemed colleagues. You've got to be kidding me. Uncle Dieter? <gasps> What's the former president doing here? Uh, didn't that guy used to be with the Mafia? Is that really you, Uncle Dieter? The hell are you doing here, Garcia? Nice to see you, too. <laughs> oh, it's been too long since I could last experiment in this fair place. No way. Tell me it isn't you. People of Crossbell, as you are aware, though the war may be over, this world remains in a state of chaos. To bring an end to disorder, we must come together as one, as a united nation, without borders or state lines. And where better to begin working toward that goal than a place that has faced more hardship than any other? Should you accept my proposal, I promise to see this dream realized as the supreme leader of Crossbell. One land, united under Crossbell. We could be the center of the world? He's right. Even if we'd managed to be in an independent state again, it wouldn't have lasted. Then maybe we'll be better off just doing as he says. Yeah, he's got that former president with him too. You all lost your minds. Open your eyes! Glory to the Supreme Leader! Glory to Crossbell! Rufus! 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 What? What happened here? It's like... We're too late. Lloyd! Damn it all. This can't be happening. I thank you all for choosing to put your faith in me. Then, by your will, I hereby proclaim the establishment of the United Nation of Crossbell and the beginning of Zemuria's coalescence.
Is that all? Yeah. No. I can fight. Kurt. I'm ready. Pathetic. Make any sense? At this rate, come on, we'll hide under the bridge. We need to get to Instructor Rain ASAP if we're going to figure out some way to help out Ash and Muse. I agree, and we need to get out of this icy water before it saps any more of our strength. That should be our top priority. I hope you don't think I can't see you down there. Is anywhere safe from her? No one escapes the Icy Maiden when she's this serious, I fear. I can't believe this is happening! What a gorgeous sight! So, this is where you grew up, Instructor? What a wonderful place. It's so peaceful and calming. I figured the snow would have all melted by this time of year. Most of it has. This is just what's left over. You would have really seen some snow if we were here a month ago. Oh, how lovely! It's nice to be honeymooning in a winter wonderland. I owe this town much after all they did for me two years ago. I think we owe you more than you owe us. Oh yeah. You used Ymir as your base during the Civil War, right? Yeah. She did a ton of work to improve our defenses and our communications network. I suppose it's been two years for me as well. The last visit I recall was when I was tasked with abducting Princess Alfin and Instructor Reen's little sister. <laughs> it's, um, also been a while for you, Reen, hasn't it? Why don't we start by letting your parents know that we're here? That sounds good to me. I want to introduce all my students to them. It's going to feel a little strange meeting our instructor's parents. Y yeah I'm feeling kind of nervous all of a sudden. I, for one, can hardly wait to say hello to my future in-laws. <laughs> I've got a whole lot of stories to tell them about their little baby boy. <sighs> Please don't embarrass me in front of my family.
Mom, Dad, I'm home. It's good to see you again, my son. It's been a long half year without you. I'm sorry I haven't been able to visit as often as I'd like. Especially since it sounds like Elise has been too busy to come home as well. She's asked me to give you both her regards. Well, I'm sure St. Astraea's student council is keeping her plenty busy. I just hope she doesn't work herself sick. I'm sure she's just fine. The younger students all seem to adore her. And she has her highness there if she's ever in need of a friend to talk to. I've also been keeping an eye out to make sure no insects start buzzing around her. <laughs> Are you now? That overprotectiveness may create more trouble than it prevents. Poor Elise. It's a pleasure to see you both again, Lord and Lady Schwarzer. The same to you, Major Revelt. Hmm, it's not hard to imagine that the RMP must be exceptionally busy at the moment. I hope your time here will help ease some of your weariness. Thank you, Your Lordship. Oh, and these must be your students. That's right. My name is Kurt Vander. I have learned much under Instructor Reen's exemplary tutelage. You would be one of the rare practitioners of the Vander School's dual blade style. I've heard that despite how capable you are, you're not one to rest on your laurels. Humble, too. Unusual and admirable qualities in someone of your age. I am honored you would speak of me that way, but I'm afraid you overestimate me. Oh, I don't think so. Name's Ash Carbide. If you've heard it, chances are it's because your son was complaining about what a pain in the ass I am. <laughs> On the contrary. I've heard there's much more to you than that prickly exterior of yours. Reen's told me that deep down, you're a very smart, considerate young man who your fellow students depend on. The hell? You want to watch what bullcrap you're feeding your folks about me, Schwarzer? Sorry, you're just stuck being a big old softy. The denial is what makes him oh so lovable. I am Musée Egret. It's a pleasure. I owe much to both of your children. Ah, I've heard much about you. It can't be easy to shoulder so much responsibility at such a young age. Not at all. Instructor Reen's love and support give me the strength necessary to overcome any obstacle. Oh my. Love, you say? <sighs> can't you spare me your harassment in front of them? <laughs> I see that Elise wasn't exaggerating. You are quite the character. I'm glad that she and Reen have someone like you to come to when they need it. Think nothing of it. That's what family does. Doesn't miss a beat, does she? She certainly does not. My name is Una Crawford. It's a pleasure to meet you. I found myself in Instructor Reen's debt before even enrolling at the Academy, and I've constantly been in it since. But I've been trying to learn as much as I can from him so that one day, I can be a source of strength to others just like him. Oh, you're the young lady from Crossbell. What a commendable spirit you have. I agree. You seem every bit the earnest, cheerful young woman Reen told us you were. Uh, what else did he say about me? He told us, you never give up even when all seems lost, and act like a shining beacon of light to those around you. It seems he really depends on you. That's really flattering to hear. But also really embarrassing to hear in front of my classmates. You're not the only one going red. How are you not completely desensitized to the things you say by now? I feel a little jealous, truth be told. <laughs> anyway, I've had my turn now. Last up is you. Altino Orion. <sighs> uh, you okay, Ali? I'm the one who abducted Elise and the princess during the Northern Jaeger's attack on Ymir two years ago. Altina. 
I know I have no right to even be here after the harm my actions caused you. But since I have this opportunity... I am so terribly sorry for what I did. That must really have been eating away at her. Please, raise your head. You were but a child following orders, and you did nothing to harm either of them. You need not feel any guilt for your actions. Still... There is something I would like to say to you as well. Thank you, Altina. Or what? I hear you were always at Reen's side during the year he was fulfilling the government's demands after the Civil War. I'm truly grateful he had you to support him. Uh, I was just following orders then, too. <laughs> Even so. Besides, you're not here today because you were ordered to be, are you? I... That's true. I'm part of Class 7 because I chose to be and want to be. Aww. <laughs> Our class wouldn't be the same without you. Then you have no reason not to feel completely welcome here. You're a lucky man to have so many wonderful students, Reen. Yeah, I couldn't agree more.
Anyway, I want you to keep watching over me, Instructor. There's still so much I have to learn from you, so I won't let you just disappear. I won't let you leave me. So, I did what I promised I would. Instructor, don't you think I deserve a word of praise for my accomplishments? <laughs> Can't argue with that. Your motives are worth a raised eyebrow, but you did really well. So, well done, Muse. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you have no idea how it makes me feel to hear you say that.
And you know, I like being with you, Instructor. Uh, uh I didn't mean that in a weird way. <laughs> I know. There's still a lot I want to teach you, too. Good, because I'm all ears.
Major? I'm sorry, I wouldn't have come in if I'd known you were here. Is that you, Reen? Why don't you come into the water? You must be cold standing there. We haven't had a chance to talk in quite some time. True. We're long overdue for a talk. Well, if you're comfortable with it, then I'd love to. By the way, Reen... Uh, yes? This feels very overdue, but I wanted to thank you. For what? For all you did during the rivalries. For all you did for Milliam, for facing me head on. And for granting His Excellency's true wish. <laughs> Mere words feel woefully insufficient given all you've done. But I also didn't want my gratitude to go unspoken. That's very kind, but you really didn't have to. I was just doing what I wanted to do, and I couldn't have done it alone. That's about what I expected you'd say. This might sound kind of sappy, but I feel like it was worth it all just to see you smile again. <laughs> you really are oblivious to how you sound sometimes. Jokes and thanks aside, there's something I wanted to ask you, too. What is it? Are you truly happy right now, Reen? Of course I am. Busy, certainly. But I am happy. I still can't believe we made it through the Great Twilight. We even got Crow and Milliam back. I was hoping there was a way we wouldn't lose them, obviously. But deep down, I had already given up and braced for the inevitable. It wasn't without some goodbyes. But it's all over now, and I can still be with everyone I care about. Which includes you, of course. The joy I feel about that hasn't gone anywhere. I'm glad to hear that. Still, there's a difference between being happy over something and you yourself being happy. You went through a lot during the Great Twilight including having to say farewell to your father. Despite living in fear you would disappear or lose your friends, you came out the other side with victory in hand. You, Reen, persevered to save us all. And I can believe that's made you happy, yes. As much as I can believe that happiness continues to cast a punishing shadow over you. 
Am I wrong? Uh, I'm speechless. You really can see right through me. You're right. I'm still not sure how to handle the happiness I feel. I know it's there. I'm just not sure how to truly accept it. All the people who died on the first day of the war did so because I made the Great Twilight happen. Do I even deserve to be happy when they can't be? Or forgiven for what I did? It may not be my place to say this, but I think you're the only one who can decide that. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I know how you feel, because I'm in exactly the same position. You were concerned earlier that I might be overworking myself. For me, I'm just trying to atone for my sins by throwing myself into my work. Major, that can't be good for- Don't worry. I can calculate how far I can go as well as any number. I'm taking care not to cross the line into self-sacrifice. It's tempting though. Every time I achieve something to make Erebonia's future better or see you and Milliam's smiling faces, I get a little closer to forgiving myself. It's not something I can do overnight. It's every moment I can justify forgiveness, no matter how small it is, that gets me one step closer. As long as I don't falter, I'm sure I'll be able to like myself again one day. Hmm. That's a mature way of going about it. <laughs> Far from it. I'm duplicitous to a fault. I wonder if I... I don't think my approach will work for you. You're much too sincere to go tricking yourself into feeling anything other than how you feel. I know it won't be easy for you. Just... I hope you can let yourself be happy. <laughs> Easier said than done, I'm afraid. Maybe. But if you let it elude you forever, I'll always be one good deed short of being able to fully forgive myself. What am I even supposed to say to that? I did call myself duplicitous.
I apologize for the wait, Your Excellency. You're exactly on time. Just turned midday. It couldn't be. Father? So he's... He is both House Vander and its School of Swordsmanship's head, Matthias Vander, the Thunder God. He and Viscount Arsaid are known as the strongest swordsman in Erebonia. Yeah, sure, but why is he here? I get the impression he was waiting for us. It's good to see you, Your Excellency. What does bring you here, Father? Raise your weapons. Uh, sorry? I sense no threats in the vicinity. Yeah. What's going on? Prove your strength to me. If you cannot defeat me by 3 p.m., you will be disqualified. Disqualified? From what? Get ready for battle, everyone! I'm as confused as the rest of you, but we're sitting ducks if we don't fight back. I'll take lead, Instructor.
Is that all? Yeah. No. I can fight. Kurt. I'm ready. Pathetic. Ah. He's not so weak as to be killed by such an insignificant fall. He will, at most, be confined to a hospital bed for a few months. He's your son! Why would you do that to him? There is no place for restraint in Vander School duels. He is merely paying the price for his lack of skill. Being cruel to be kind requires some degree of kindness first, Your Excellency. Even if he does emerge unscathed, he won't make it back here before three. Kurt is, to be blunt, disqualified. You are the only one left to face me, Reen Schwarza. Do not disappoint me. This doesn't make any sense. At this rate... Come on! We'll hide under the bridge! We need to get to Instructor Reen ASAP if we're going to figure out some way to help out Ash and Musei! I agree. And we need to get out of this icy water before it saps any more of our strength. That should be our top priority. I hope you don't think I can't see you down there. No one escapes the Icy Maiden when she's this serious, I fear. I hope you don't think I can't see you down there. Is anywhere safe from her? No one escapes the Icy Maiden when she's this serious, I fear.
know was Muse and Ash. Now's our chance! You know what to do, Allie. I'll back you up! Understood. Activating Arcadius mode. You're not getting away! You're still the same Claire we know and love after all. We'd have never pulled this off if you had used a nastier trap. Activating sonar mode. I'm detecting orbital mind control units. Three in total within the vicinity. Are you both all right? I'm still a little numb, but I can fight. We should go make sure you... I got it covered. Wild Philly, grab on! I'm on my way! I'm ready, Ash! Better hold on for dear life! <clears throat> What else can I do except say that you got me? All right. Now we just gotta beat up that scary old guy by three, right? Which means we can't afford to stay here a moment longer. I'll go on ahead. We've got a lot of questions to ask you when we get back, Claire. Huh. What an impeccable show of teamwork. They've got little under an hour left. I just hope they make it in time. <sighs> your spirit is admirable. You wield your blade well. However, your inexperience is as evident as the nose on your face. Aurelia clearly overestimated you. Did she say something about me? That you may one day surpass even her as a swordsman. <sighs> it's an honor to hear she thinks that, but I'm not sure I can live up to the vision she has of me in her head. Still, if she's placing that much faith in me, I can't squander it by falling short here. Then show me you can withstand my full strength. You may be a fledgling Divine Blade of the Eight Leaves School, but your first steps within the realm of greater warriors are as shaken as they are unyielding. Your potential is undeniable, even if you have yet to realize it yourself. I'm not... done yet. Then allow me to finish this. Altina? Are you alright, Instructor? I am now. Thanks. Instructor! Still alive and kicking, huh? I'm so jealous of Altina for getting the best part. Oh, if only I could fly. You're alright. So you defeated Major Revolt. I must admit, I am impressed. Instructor, where's Kurt? I don't see him. He... fell from the cliff. Huh? What? Please tell me you're joking. You pull on her leg? That's a hell of a drop! I hope he's alright. Forget about Hope! We gotta go save him! He might be hurt, but we have no reason to believe that his life's in danger. Right now, we need to focus on the fight at hand. That's what he'd want us to do. I mean, you're right, but... Now that you've been able to regroup, you may actually be able to defeat me if you fight as one. The clock is about to strike three. I cannot imagine you can achieve victory in time. 
The odds are clearly not in our favor. Sure, but screw this old man for telling us what we can and can't do. How unfortunate. Don't count us out yet. That sounds like... Kurt! You're all right. When did you... Now that's how you make an entrance. It's quite a feat to climb directly up the cliff. If I had followed the meandering path up the mountain, I never would have made it here in time. Climbing up was my only option. Kurt! Your hands! I is that blood? You can't hold your swords like that. We'll take care of the rest, so just... I appreciate your concern, Yuna, but I'll be fine. I wish I'd had more climbing experience under my belt, but I guess I now know it's something I need to work on. Please don't worry about me, Instructor. I won't let my injuries slow me down. I have the rare chance to fight my father with all of you at my side. I would endure any pain to take advantage of it. Oh, Kurt. <laughs> Damn, someone's fired up. Then far be it from us to disappoint him. <laughs> Very well. Show me what you're capable of. When you work as one, on my strength as the Thunder God, I will be the one to judge your potential. Now's our chance! Strike! Right! right. Huh? You're mine! Have some of this! This too! An opening! Prepare yourself, Father! <laughs> you pass. We... we did? Oh, Kurt, your dad is too damn strong. Him being head of the Vander School isn't just for show. For real? You sure he's not the strongest on the continent? But I'm glad we passed. Whatever this was. Even if it did take all of us.
The truth is that several days ago, Prince Oliver and Lady Sherizard left for their honeymoon aboard the Courageous Two. They have not been seen since. How could they be missing? And you're certain of this? I'm afraid so. We haven't been able to reach the ship or any of its crew. You've lost contact with the entire ship? They were only just starting their new lives together. That said, I must hear your answer. Are you willing to assist in the search for Prince Oliver and Lady Sherizard? Erebonia needs Prince Oliver, and he has done more for Class 7 than we can ever repay him for. I don't know who or what is responsible for his disappearance. But none of us can turn a blind eye to it. We will devote all we have to finding and, if necessary, rescuing him. I'm sure all of the others who couldn't join us would say the same thing. Excellent. Then consider yourselves entrusted with this task. We'll be counting on you. Now, the matter being confidential does mean we cannot officially mobilize the army to aid in the search. If there's anyone you trust to bring in for additional help, however, you have full permission to share this information. Understood. 
Though our assistance may be minuscule in comparison, we will do whatever we can. The Isengard range is our backyard, so we could mount a thorough search of it and the surrounding area. Your help is much appreciated, Lord Schwarzer. <laughs> you are I am. Do not lose sight of yourself. That sounds like Swords are without form, and exist within oneself. If you have need of your blade, you need only to grasp it in your mind. Grasp it in my mind? Your Excellency! So, it really was you. Something seemed amiss. I thought my advice may help. Thank you. It really did. This silence is so intimidating. I hope I haven't disappointed him by letting him see me like that. Green Schwarzer. S sir I am very grateful to you. For what? For all you have done for Kurt. Oh. The hot springs won't do you any good by standing. Sit. I, I suppose you're right. I've long been aware of my son's burdens. His worries stemming from House Vander being stripped of its long-held duty to protect the Imperial family of concern for Prince Cedric. Yet as a father, I chose not to console him. I do not regret that decision. But I am relieved that he found you to help him break free of his shell. He's grown more than I ever could have imagined. That is why I am grateful. So you were still thinking of him, in your own way. Truthfully, I don't think I deserve the credit you're giving me. Kurt's development came from his own ceaseless hard work, and the support of the friends he met along the way. All of that was only possible because of your guiding hand. <laughs> I certainly tried to play a part, but I still think my role was minor. <laughs> I'd like to ask, why were you withholding your strength during our duel? Was I? Even I would struggle against a divine blade of the Eight Leaves School fighting at their best. I think you're overestimating me as much as Countess Le Guin did. I played more of a supporting role after my students arrived, but I wasn't shying away either, I assure you. I'm simply not capable enough to do that against an opponent of your caliber. Then that leaves only one other possibility. Something weighs heavily upon you. Then you could tell. It came through loud and clear as we crossed blades. 
I suppose strength like yours wouldn't come without being so perceptive as well. Does this worry relate to the state I found you in earlier? I'm... honestly not sure myself. I see. No situation is too complex for the warrior who follows a simple course. We use our skill to protect that which we cherish. We need not strength for anything more. <sighs> I'm ashamed to have almost forgotten something so fundamentally important. Thank you for reminding me of that, Your Excellency. I don't know when I'll have the chance, but one day I will go and find him. I don't know where we'll take it once I do, but if nothing else, I want him to know how I feel.
everyone, if I could have your attention. I'm afraid I have terrible news. Crossbell's signing ceremony today was disrupted by a surprise attack. Crossbell has been reoccupied. Huh? By who? What happened? I can't believe it. I will be the one to bear the responsibility for His Excellency's actions. It is the best way we can go about quelling the unrest in Erebonia and solving the issue of Crossbell all at once. I can think of no better way for us Ironbloods to honor him.
MC, leader of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. With the iron-blooded monster slain, the Empire had claimed its key to enter an era of peace. Alas, it would seem his poisonous beliefs are now being carried on by zealots, espousing nonsense of a united nation. To those who support their losing game, and to the ignorant politicians who allow these dogs to bark, I say this. We shall see you pay for your crimes. Our first target was the foolish prince and his wings, now bound to inaction. Our next target shall be the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City. I know it's March, but it's still cold to be out at night, Yuna. Especially in areas that still have snow on the ground. What are you doing here, Instructor? I could sense you out here from inside my room. Given how late it is and how new you are to Ymir's weather, I couldn't help but worry. <laughs> you can't just whip out those super senses for any old thing. Maybe. But every time they prove useful in a situation like this, I'm glad I spent time honing them. What are you sitting down for, anyway? Aren't you here to make me go inside? This isn't the academy dorm. There's no curfew here. If you want to stay up a little late, I'm not going to stop you. Wow. <laughs> you sure you should be saying stuff like that to your impressionable students? <laughs> I don't think it hurts once in a while. <sighs> so.
So you're not going to ask me anything? I'm not even sure where to start. I feel like you're the one who has to be willing to open up here. Open up? You think I'm just trying to act fine when I'm not, don't you? Not just think it. I know I'm correct. You are. You are, but how many times has this happened now? Over and over. Crossbell finds itself in danger, and every time, I get all worked up and cause more problems for everyone. I'm just tired of being such a burden. So what choice do I have but to bottle it all up and deal with it on my own? I get what you're trying to say, but you're missing the fact that everyone wants to help you when things go south. That goes for all your classmates. And me. If it was the other way around and one of your classmates needed help, wouldn't you want to give it to them? Well, yeah. Of course I would. But I think you're the last person I want to hear that from. I get you're our instructor and all, and students aren't supposed to be the ones teaching the teacher, but... That's not why I don't turn to you. Thing is, I have the same problem you do. And I need to work on it too. But turning to your friends, or your students, for comfort and advice isn't a sign of weakness. That's what they're there for. And that doesn't change, no matter how many times you have to do it. You help each other, so you can move forward together. Then... can I... Go on. Can I turn to you for comfort now? Of course you can. <laughs> we fought so hard. And we thought this was finally it. So why did they go and take it away from us again? Why can't Crossbell just be free? What did we do to deserve all this? <laughs> Just leave us alone! <laughs> <sighs> do you feel a bit better now? <laughs> yeah. But now the embarrassment of all that crying in front of you is really starting to set in. Anyway... Don't worry about me. I'm fine now, really. No matter how many times people take our home, we'll just take it right back from them. That's what I like to hear. Well, I guess it is getting late. I'm gonna head back to my room. So, um, thank you for lending me your coat. I'll give it back now. I don't want you being cold either. Thanks. Good night, Yuna. Well, I'd better get to bed, too. It's been a really, really long day. Stop right there! Hand over the case. Who are you? You're not bandits, are you? Are you going to hurt me? Enough! Do as you're told! But that's mine! Check the contents! It's just a stuffed animal! Did we get the wrong person? That's not just a stuffed animal, silly. It's one of my special ones. What the? You set us up! Nice job, S. There's another one! They're down to three. Let's get them down to none. 
Okay. You couldn't have been more right about how they moved on you. Uh, I wouldn't have even noticed them if you didn't say something first. But that's what makes us the most perfect team in the whole wide world. Still, they were clearly well-trained. I thought we'd be in the clear once we reached the Empire, but guess not. At least they were dumb enough to make it obvious what they were after. The case, yeah. What do you think's inside? I don't know, but whatever it is, it's a big deal. He was pretty adamant about keeping it secret. Would have been easier to have the guild transport it if it was something normal. Yeah. And as long as it's in our hands, I don't want to let him down. Me either. He's been real good to us. The problem is how we're going to deliver it with nothing but some cryptic riddle to tell us where to go. We'll figure it out eventually. No need to stress ourselves out over it. I guess. Well, we should get moving. We might have more of those guys hot on our tail. Sure. But before we address the real problem on our hands... I'm tired! I don't want to walk anymore! You can carry me, right? Pretty please? I am not doing that! You're always so mean to me! So very mean! <sighs> Stop whining and walk. And give me the case, I'll carry it. And here was your chance to be a gentleman. Someone needs to step up their game around women. Whatever you say, Nadia. Nadia. I know. What? I don't think it's an archaism. I got it. What is with this thing? I might as well be doing nothing. Looks like it's manufactured out of some special material, but that's all I got. The core can't be damaged unless you first prioritize the joints. So that's how it works. Who's the Snoop? Someone with suspicious written all over him. But we'll just have to trust him for now. Did it run off? Guess so. Thanks. What you said was dead on. No thanks necessary. However... <laughs> I will be taking this. So you helped us out to nab the case? Correct. I appreciate that your valiant efforts against your pursuers saved me a great deal of time. We're gonna need that back. And if you won't give it back, we'll take it back. <laughs> By all means. Hold up, S. This might be a stupid question, but bear with me. Could you tell us your name? I go by C. 
I am the leader of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. Is this a bit? <sighs> this is either a crazy coincidence, or fate just really likes messing with us. Have I said something unusual? So, when we were given that case, we were told to deliver it to a person who introduces themselves as C. I'd like for you to elaborate on the details of this request of yours. Can't. That's the long and short of it. Ever since last month, we've been trying to figure out just who C could be, and we've hit dead end after dead end. Did you just say last month? Yeah. You are certain of this? Hundo P. <laughs> <laughs> you doing okay? Those mushrooms you eat on the way here start to kick in or something? <laughs> oh, I'm quite well. I simply did not expect this affair to take such an amusing turn. Never did I expect to have this much fun. Well, if you're good, then... Is it okay with you if we open the case? Our work isn't considered complete until we've verified its contents have been safely received. Don't worry. That one's not rigged with a bomb. I think. You think? Then again, not like we've seen what's inside for ourselves. But now we can. I've been dying to open it. Wanna give us a hint to make it fun? I haven't the faintest idea what's inside. You went through all the trouble of stealing it when you don't even know what it is? Someone's a wild card. True, I don't know its precise contents. Whatever they may be, however, they concern the unrest that plagues Crossbell and Erebonia. And I firmly believe they will lead me to the root of its cause. Well, go on then. Open it. Will what lies within deliver us hope, or will it deliver yet more misfortune?
Our only wish was to be free, for Crossbell to have true freedom. Freedom that no one would be able to take from us again. Behind that wish was one burning desire to be proud once more. We wanted to reignite the pride that everyone in this land held deep in their hearts. It was finally within our reach. All we had to do was grasp it. So why? Why couldn't we? Ah, the very picture of a hero. However, Crossbell has no need for you any longer. Now kindly get off the stage. We didn't make the choices we did to be heroes. The path we chose was so we could finally... A new, a new story, story is in is motion. In motion. Your, Your fate, fate is but, but one, one thread, thread intermingled with many. With many. Now, now, rise, rise from, from your, your slumber. slumber. <sighs> Was that all? Just a dream? Lloyd? Prisha. Oh, thank goodness! You're finally awake! How are you feeling? Are you in any kind of pain? Uh, I'm fine. But where am I? What happened to the ceremony? What about Crossbell's independence? <sighs> Crossbell City was occupied again. By the Ebon Defense Force and their commander. The self-proclaimed Supreme Leader, Rufus Alborea. together this isn't over yet there are still people here who haven't lost their minds take Lloyd and run if anyone can turn all of this around it'll be the SSS <sighs> well I'm not seeing any other options all right let's make a break for it split up and get out of the city understood I'll scan for a safe route I'll go after Kia Risha you take care of Lloyd got it So we were forced to split up. I hope they made it out okay. What about Kia and Cecile? They came to watch the ceremony. Are they alright? I'm afraid I don't know. I've gone scouting a few times since the ceremony ended two days ago. But I haven't come across any leads about what happened to them. Or Elia and Sully, for that matter. Oh. Damn it! How could I have let this happen? Protecting Crossbell was my... was our duty! Lloyd... <laughs> Staying here isn't an option. I have to see for myself what's happening in the city. Risha, will you come with me? Yes, of course.
What is it that matters most to you? Can you truly turn your back in the face of what you hold dear? From Elia. I was hoping you'd notice. It's what she had you deliver to me during Crossbell's last bid for independence. What is it that matters most to you? Can you truly turn your back in the face of what you hold dear? Those words have kept me going over the last two years, no matter how bad things have been. As long as you don't lose sight of the most important thing to you, your path will always be clear. That's what I believe, at least. What matters to me most? Right now, that would be liberating Crossbell. Though I still don't know how we're going to achieve that. What I do know is that the rest of the SSS and all our allies are out there working toward the same goal. So if we can reunite with them and work together, maybe we'll have a chance. I think so too. That was how we made it through our last crisis, and it's how we'll make it through this one. We have to keep believing and focus on what we each can do to help. And above all, never lose sight of what matters to us most. For me, that would be everyone I cherish, including Arkansas. And you too, Lloyd. So please try to be kind to yourself. I'll Risha. All right. I will. Sorry for worrying you. It's just as you said. All we can do right now is focus on what is right in front of us. It's simple, really. I can't believe I forgot that after all we've been through. I agree that knowing what's happening in the city is a good idea. We just need to be careful. Hopefully, it will give us an idea of what to do next. So I'll give you all the help I can. It's the least I could do for someone who's always accepted me. Whether I was Risha Mao or Yin. Thank you, Risha. I'll do everything I can to protect the things and people we both cherish. No matter what it takes. We will liberate Crossbell. Of course we will.
That's enough sniffing around, you filthy rats! Sweet dreams. This is HQ. Respond. There was a suspicious sighting during our patrol, but uh, it turned out to be harmless. We'll be finishing our sweep shortly. Understood. Return to your post as soon as your task is complete. That should buy us a few minutes, at the very least. That was a pretty close call, huh? What? What are you doing here? It's been a while, Bannings, Yin. I've been looking for you two. Didn't expect to find you so close to the city, though. I don't know whether to call you brave or plain stupid.
I will be the one to bear the responsibility for His Excellency's actions. It is the best way we can go about quelling the unrest in Erebonia and solving the issue of Crossbell all at once. I can think of no better way for us Ironbloods to honor him. Over there! This isn't looking good. Uh, what are we going to do? Don't worry, Pulley! I won't let them hurt you! I'll distract them. I want you all to run for the village, okay? Whoa! What do we do, Camille? Shoot! No one hurts my sister while I'm around! Many of them. At the right things are going. Ellie! Lloyd! Sorry it took us so long. Mind covering our six? We won't let them harm the children. That takes care of that. You're all unharmed, right? Good job hanging tough for so long, Ellie. I'm glad to see you're all right. <laughs> you show up out of nowhere at the perfect time, and that's all you have to say to me? I was so worried, and I thought I may never see you again. You're not still hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Sorry that I worried you. I'm so happy to see you again, Ellie. Lloyd, I...
Lecter tipped us off that an SSS member was in Armorica, but I never expected to run into you too, Cecile. I'm so glad you're all right. It's so good to see you're okay too, Lloyd. I'm sure you must have gone through a lot to get here. I didn't know what to think after the injuries you sustained at the ceremony. Glad you're all right, Risha. First I was separated from Daddy, and then you disappeared. I was worried sick about you. I'm sorry for worrying you, Sansan. I'm so relieved to see you're all right too. Risha, don't ever leave me like that again. Because as long as you're here, I feel like I can overcome anything. I know things may seem scary now, but we can pull through this. 
You're right. But... I... Please forgive me, Lloyd. It's not Cecile's fault that Kia isn't here. Not at all. It's entirely mine for abandoning her. Ellie! There you are, Kia. I've been looking for you. Yeah. Cecile should be somewhere nearby, too. Is Lloyd? He'll be fine. Risha's with him. Now come over. <laughs> Run, or you'll get caught up in it! Ah! Kia! No! Kia! Kia! Where are you? <laughs> Sorry. This is all my fault. I could have ran to her voice and grabbed her hand, but I chose not to. I don't deserve to call myself her guardian. 
or even be a part of the SSS. So that's what happened. It's going to be all right, Ellie. Key is just fine. I'm sure of it. How can you be so sure? We've done nothing but force hardship on her ever since we returned from the Azure Tree. While we fought for our home's freedom, she stood by us and helped however she could, despite being separated from her best friend. And never once did she not have a smile on her face. No matter how hopeless things felt, Kia never stopped smiling for us. She never gave up. We were the ones who swore to protect her. And there she was again, being the one who protected and supported us. Just like always. You're right. She always has. We were only able to continue smiling ourselves because her smile was giving us hope. I think that's exactly what she was trying to do the day we were separated, too. I'll be fine! We'll see each other again soon, I promise! There are other people who need you! I couldn't see her face, but I could feel how desperate she was to encourage me, even though she must have been so scared. How can one little girl be so positive? I'd like to say that's how she's always been. But we both know she's even stronger now than she was before. Kia isn't the same girl she was when we first met. She's no longer powerless to fight against a terrible fate that was decided without her consent. She's one of us now, in every sense of the word. Always with us, always fighting and smiling. In just two years, she's grown and become the Kia Bannings we all know and love. That's why, if she says she'll be alright, and that we'll see each other again, then I know we can believe her. So there's only one thing left for us to do, right? Yes, you're right again. I think deep down, part of me still thought of her as a helpless child that needs us to look after her. I should have known better. Should have seen that as we were getting stronger, she was right there with us getting stronger too. Well, I'm hardly in any position to judge when it comes to being overprotective of Kia. But the thing is, she put her trust in us. So it's only right we do the same thing when she asks, right? You're on fire, huh? Right again. There's so much for us to do right now. The only way we're going to manage is by taking it one step at a time. Kia told me she would be okay, and that there are other people who need me. I'm going to place my faith in that, so I'm sure we'll be reunited as long as we stay the course. That's the spirit. It's only a matter of time before our paths cross again, so we don't want to disappoint her when we meet up. I'd say we owe it to her as her guardians, and as her friends. This is so like you, Lloyd. Always encouraging me when I need it most. It's been this way for a long time, hasn't it? That night on the roof when I thought of leaving the SSS. Even when I decided to become Grandfather's secretary during the occupation. Sometimes I wonder if the only reason I've been able to keep going these last few years is because I knew you were with me. Words can't express how grateful I truly am. I'm flattered, but I don't think I did anything particularly special. I've known for a long time that your future was going to lead you to politics. And I know you'll make Crossbell and the world a better place. So I'm happy to do whatever I can to give you a push in the right direction if you need it. Is that the only reason? I hope the reason you look after me so much isn't just for the good of Crossbell. I thought it would sound cooler if I put it that way. But you got me. I think my feelings are a little more straightforward than that. I want to do what I can to help you realize your dreams because... You're Ellie. You're important to me. That's the real reason. <laughs> Thanks. 
I know I forced that out of you, so forgive me for being a little selfish. I think that's just what I needed to hear to begin looking forward again. You always make me feel like nothing is impossible, not even getting our home back. Because nothing ever is. And I'll be right here to tell you as many times as it takes. Grandfather, it's me. Oh, Ellie, do come in. Oh. It's good to see you again, Mr. Speaker. But are you sure it's all right for you to be sitting up? I do still feel some lingering pain, but they told me just this much would be all right. I owe the goddess my deepest thanks. It brings me joy to see you are all doing well. Particularly you, Ellie. You're looking much brighter than you were before. Well, I... It's true. I do feel much better now. Shot! Hold on. I need to stop the bleeding. Theater, wait! It's good to see you again, Ellie. You're looking well. Why? Why are you doing this? What possessed you to play a part in such foolishness? 
Did you not learn anything from your short-lived presidency? Oh, I learned much, I assure you. That is why I am here today. Back then, my daughter played me like a fiddle. But this time, I am following my own convictions. And that is what led me to join the new unified government. You hopeless fool. Uncle Theodore, how can you truly believe that this is the right path? Surely you can see... Looking at you and your friends now, you don't stand a chance against the Supreme Leader. I'd advise you take the time to reevaluate what justice means to you. You and your compatriots both. I know Lloyd and his friends can take care of themselves, but please, keep lighting their way, Guy.
We're finally here. Damn, is it ten already? Sure is. Heimdall's pretty far from Ymir. Our next target shall be the muck and mire that gathers in the Vermilion City. The Vermilion City C mentioned can only be Heimdall. But the capital is gigantic. We're going to need some way to narrow our search radius. <laughs> if you ask me, the race course in the Garnier district seems suspicious. Do they now? I know, I know. I'll save having fun till our work's done. I'd be happy to take you anywhere you like once we've ensured Prince Oliver is safe. As long as it's not the kind of shady businesses I know you want to go to. I gotcha. Can't very well go to him in uniform. That's not the problem here, Ash. We can go for dessert though, right? Of course. <laughs> It'll be on me even. Just focus on the investigation first. Let's start with Lady Arie since she's agreed to speak with us. To the training hall in the Leica district we go then. That is basically our situation as it stands. His Excellency also asked us to tell you that he hopes you'll be able to look after the Hall in his extended absence. Thank you for updating me on everything going on. It's the least we could do. Your husband did a lot for us. More like put us through the goddamn ringer. All while shrugging off our attacks like we were nothing more than a bunch of buzzing mosquitoes. He sent Kurt flying off a cliff, too. I found him quite terrifying. I do hope he didn't leave you with any lasting trauma. Still, his is a measured hand. If he came at you that fiercely, he trusted you could handle it. I hope you can understand that he only did what he did because he saw potential in all of you.
May I come in? Huh? I think I know who that is. I suspected as much. By all means. Elise. Hello, everyone. It's good to see you all again. The same to you. <laughs> so she's our little helper, huh? Indeed. Sister Doreen, friend to Princess Alfin, and head of St. Astraya's Student Council. The noble Elise Schwarzer herself. The Princess and Muse have already apprised me of the situation, so I spoke with Lady Aurier and volunteered to aid you upon your arrival. I apologize if my behavior strikes you as meddlesome, but I am certain that I will be able to aid you in your investigation. You do know more about the capital than any of us. <sighs> You're not coming, and that's final. But... <laughs> Out comes the big brother. There's still far too much we don't know about the situation here. Given that our enemies pilfered the name of the Imperial Liberation Front, we could very well be dealing with terrorists. Involving a civilian in this would be downright irresponsible. So I'm just a civilian, am I? Just a no-good student without a mode of power to her name? That's not what I'm trying to... Oh, I think it is. But even leaving that aside, your blunt dismissal misses an important point. And what point is that? That the situation at hand doesn't relate to me, when I am Princess Alfin's dearest friend. But that is that, and this is... this. As we speak, she is racked with worry over her brother's well-being. Yet, as the matter is confidential, she has to feign a smile and act as though everything is normal. She cannot cast her responsibilities aside and aid in the search herself, either. And because she cannot, I will do so in her place. If I just sit by idly while she suffers in silence and do nothing to alleviate her burden, I won't be fit to call myself her friend ever again. Elise. <sighs> Looks like you lose this one, Schwarzer. You realize both of them are Schwarzer in this context. If I may, I think you would do well to put your trust in her here. Her skill with a rapier is formidable. <sighs> that may be so, but... I have toiled long and hard to master the art of fencing passed down through our family. Of late, I have even grown under Lady Aurier's tutelage. And far from letting my pen rest while my sword hand improves, I have overcome many a challenge as student council president. I am no longer a cowering child in need of your protection, dear brother. <sighs> All right. Ash called this one right. You win. Then... We'll be glad to have your assistance. But, if things get dangerous, I want you to do as I say. Deal? Deal! I wish you all well in your investigation. Please, do be careful. Should I catch wind of anything new here, I'll let you know immediately. Thank you. We appreciate it. Then let us set off. I will do my best not to overextend myself and leave you all to carry the burden. But please, if you are truly in need, I hope you won't hesitate to tell me. For even I possess a strength that you can lean on. Thanks. It's good to know you've got my back. And the feeling is mutual. <laughs>
officially crossed Reichel's Plaza off the list. I'm ready to hit up the next spot. There's no need to be in such a rush. How do you still have space in your stomach for more? <gasps> you insult me, Eusis. I need to try all the capital's mouth-watering morsels. I can't throw in the towel this early. <laughs> you need to sample them all without eating more than your body mass in one sitting. <laughs> Says you. I'm still growing. I gotta eat. Growing up has less to do with regular consumption and more to do with acting like an adult. Oh, hey guys! Counter argument to that, by the way. If you want me to start acting like an adult, then you've got to start treating me like it. How's the girl supposed to feel big without being called a big sister? Counter-argument to your counter-argument. That makes no sense. Yes, it does! Don't be mean!
I think I'm with them on this one. It's not often our ensemble comes together this perfectly. Sorry for making you wait, but I'm glad you stuck around for the show. What'd you think? No need to be polite. Tell us how we really did. I thought it was brilliant. You were in perfect harmony with one another. I was genuinely speechless. Yeah, almost hurts that I wasn't able to catch the start of it. I'll take that. <laughs>
I imagining things? Um, is something the matter? No, it's nothing. If it isn't Reen. <laughs> Haven't seen you around here since the branch campus's field exercises. Hey, Dorothy. Good to see you. How's work been treating you? Pretty good, all things considered. Actually, my publisher's been pushing me to become a full-time author after how well my latest novel sold. But I like my work as a curator, too, so I don't think I'm ready to quit just yet. That's great. Always nice to have options.
know, I may have underestimated your skills, Elise. You've gotten so strong. Stronger than I ever could have imagined. As your big brother, I'll always be fussing over you at least a little. But now I know I can absolutely trust you to have my back. You mean it? <laughs> I'm so happy to hear you say that. Thank you for coming. Not at all. Thank you for inviting us. I'm so happy I get to see your faces again. Your Highness. What brings you here, Your Highness? <sighs> I should very much be asking you the same thing. All this, and you're being forced to place yourself in harm's way for my brother. I'm... I'm so sorry for not consulting you first. Yes, as you ought to be, I'm your best friend. I could have thanked you much sooner, Elise, had you not kept this a secret from me. 
And you won't stop me? Stop you? Heaven forbid. As soon as Representative Regnitz informed me of the details, I chose to accompany him of my own volition. I cannot bear to ignore a matter that involves my family. So please, let me do my part. Let me be part of your team. I'd like that very much. You've always been a part of the team, Your Highness. Well, this has come to a fine resolution, but it won't do to begin discussions on an empty stomach. Why don't we have some lunch first? You won't hear any objections from me. I could definitely use a bite.
My heart is breaking for you, your highness. No one should have to handle a burden like this alone. Reen? You're staring. Oh, um, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intention. <laughs> it wasn't my intention to scold you either. I'm well aware that you're being considerate of my feelings, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm glad. The conditions have been met. The road to where all may gather, to where destiny avails itself, just at the horizon, is open. Come, and sink into an illusion that mirrors the real world, and extols its endless possibilities.
A new, a new story, story is in is motion. In motion. Your, Your fate, fate is but, is but one, one thread, thread intermingled, intermingled with many. With many. Now, now, rise, rise from, from your, your slumber. slumber.
Food process complete. Construction of the Reverie Garden administered space complete. Beginning construction of the Reverie Corridor. New temporal space forged. This world was constructed by the Black Mirror. Its function is to present trials, allowing you to cultivate the strength to overcome great distortions in your destiny. Correct. This process is an emergency measure intended to correct the laws of causality. Your understanding may be incomplete due to forced limitations placed on your memories. The current sequence of events with Crossbell at its center has originated due to an impossible singularity. At this time, the chances of correcting this singularity are zero. It is for this reason that the Black Mirror has chosen to intervene. Strength gained here has been approved for use outside of the Reverie Corridor, even if new memories have been denied. Challenging the true Reverie Corridor to better your strength is required. Only then will the possibility to defy destiny be within your grasp. It is for that reason I and the Reverie Garden exist. 
Access to the first stratum has been granted. May you seize the ability to overcome the impossible over the course of your trials. Traversal of the first stratum confirmed. Conditions of master missions fulfilled. These quantified goals may serve as a guide with which to measure progress. All visitors are advised to regularly confirm available master missions. Phantasmal shards shall be supplied henceforth. Their function, to unlock new possibilities within the Reverie Corridor. Permissions now granted for visitors to unlock new functionalities that will ease future trials. Correct. The Black Mirror serves to aid visitors in the fulfillment of unrealized possibilities. Visitors are advised to make use of these services to raise the chances of realizing their own destinies. All garden systems confirmed to be operational. Connection between the Black Mirror and the outside world stabilized. Visitors are instructed to make physical contact with the mirror to return to the outside world.
Departure noted. This place. It smells of mold. That foul odor is bound to cling to my dress. Ugh, that would be the pit. Are you really more worried about clothes than the monsters? Have you ever tried to get rid of a bad smell? It's a terrible pain. That's enough chatter. There's work to be done. Okay. Never thought when we took it on that the job would be like this. Who are... You? You may call me C. My name's Nadia. I'm Swin. What about you? My name is Lapis. Lapis Rosenberg. Great. Now we get to add human traffickers to our bio. No, we don't. I hope. Her last name is the same as the client, so there's got to be something more to it. Your client is your Rosenberg, I presume? His skill and renown in doll making know no equal. If this is his doing, then this could mean... He has an illegitimate daughter! That was a joke to lighten the mood. Her wrists give her away. Joints? Wait... She can't be a doll. Hard to believe with how lifelike she is, right? At the same time, I don't think I've met anyone with such perfectly symmetrical facial features. And her looks are so beautiful and delicate. The Meister's work continues to be impeccable. She is, of no doubt, an example of art at its finest. <laughs> you have an excellent eye. I am indeed a Rosenberg doll, and quite proud to be one too. It pleases me so to meet people who appreciate my superb craftsmanship. <sighs> this is so weird. I've heard of orbital automata that can hold simple conversations, but this doesn't feel like the same thing. Agreed. She has a clear sense of self, and she's already displayed a wider variety of expressions than I would have thought possible. She is no simple doll. Not at all. I'm Rosenberg's latest model. That can't be all, though. Just, what are you, Lapis? I told you, I am a Rosenberg doll. That part's obvious, but what else is there to you? I don't understand the question. There has to be something about you that you haven't explained. Like, you know, classified information. Just what's so special about you? Uh, um... None of this makes sense otherwise. If you're just a doll, then why were those soldiers in black so determined to hunt you down? I... 
Please don't. You can tell us. We just need answers. As. What? Ow! Did you fill that thing with rocks? That really hurt. It's your fault for bombarding her with questions. <laughs> See? You made a poor little girl cry. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to... I'm so sorry. No. It's okay. It's not your fault. It's just that I... can't remember... how much. All of it. Not a thing from before I woke up here. It's like... A big part of my memory bank has been wiped clean. Is this the first time you've been booted up? Maybe. But this doesn't feel the same as never having known. It's more like I did know at some point and then... forgot. I'm sure there's something I need to do. Something of the utmost importance. But you're drawing a total blank on what it is? That's right. All that I recall is my name, and that I'm a Rosenberg doll. Why was I made, though? What is my purpose? I... I don't know. <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Few things cannot be recovered upon being lost. Huh? Do you know how I can remember? No. Perhaps there's a way. Perhaps there isn't. Just talking a talk, huh? Hot calling Kettle Black. I don't know why you were made, nor do I know what your purpose is. What I do know is that you were brought to me. That leads me to believe you may well find your answers through me. As for why I am the one to receive you, well, there must be more to it than random chance. It may be that you will prove yourself vital by helping me fulfill my own goals. So I demand you cooperate with me. In return, I will help you learn who you are. I believe this agreement will serve the both of us very well. What do you say? All right. I think it will too. Then you may officially have the honor of my company. That's job complete, then. Now to figure out what's next. Oh, I want to go on an extra long vacation! On who's Mira? Don't be such a party pooper. <sighs> Call me what you want, Nadia. But whining to me isn't going to change that we're flat broke. So let's go find our next job. Stop. What for? We were contracted to deliver the case. What you do now is up to you, not our problem. And if I were to make it your problem, how would you like to work for me? What brought this on? I'm in need of some extra hands for what I hope to accomplish, you see. Since you've proven yourselves rather capable, I would like you under my employ until my work is complete. Okay, Mask. I'm going to give it to you straight. You're shadier than a dark room at midnight. We'd have to be out of our minds to take a job from some freak who's got don't trust me written all over their face. Pretty sure that's what you got under there anyway. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> Everything right down to my gut screaming that working for you is going to be more trouble than it's worth. And I never want to work one minute more than I need to. So I'm out! I'm with her. Sorry about that. Let's not be hasty now. You will be handsomely rewarded for your services. How do you like this? As a start, of course, you will receive this upon accepting the job, followed by triple the amount upon completion. Of course we are. We'd be able to live a life of luxury with that kind of money. We'd never have to work another day in our lives again. 
I would also not be opposed to awarding further bonuses based on your performance. You're a god! Oh, come on, S! We gotta, we gotta! We'll be kicking ourselves down the line if we don't! Calm down, Nadia. Actually, think about what he's saying. It's all too good to be real. It's plain to see you are not bracers, but you don't strike me as mercenaries either. Your history must be quite... unusual to become so skilled in combat at your age. <laughs> My offer holds no downsides. If you want to live in peace, you may do so with the mirror I provide. You will never have to accept another dubious job like this ever again. We've got one condition. Name it. We refuse to kill another human being. No exceptions. Very well. I accept. Then we have a deal. <sighs> well, it's done now. I just have to hope everything works out as planned. I won't let any harm come to Nadia. Ever. We should be under the capital now. We'll proceed as I outlined yesterday. If you have questions, speak now. I'm good. Me too. Oh no. I should have come prepared. <laughs> no questions then. Aw, poor Lapis just got dropped like a dummy in a dunce hat. Huh? What's a dunce hat? Alright. Just to confirm, our first objective is to gather intel on any soldiers displaying unusual behavior. That sum it up? To the letter. How we proceed after that is dependent on our findings. Can I still ask questions? I'll be counting on you to ascertain their whereabouts. Hey, don't just ignore me! I also need you to be on guard for the other targets previously mentioned. You got it. I've been curious about them. Shh, there's something come. I said. Don't ignore me! I can't believe she took out a monster that big in one hit. Rosenberg sure builds him tough. We aren't ignoring you. Far from it. We will be depending on you a great deal in combat. He's right. I'm almost tempted to leave all the fighting to you, LP. Really? <laughs> well, you'd be right to do so. There are no limits to what a top-of-the-line Rosenberg is capable of. But, um, why are you calling me LP? Because your name's Lapis. Lapis. L-P. I understand the root, but why call me it? It sounds cute. Oh, carry on then. That's all you need to be okay with it? Cute is important. If I were to rate the cuteness of everyone's names, Nadia gets 90 points. So I'm the golden standard of names, huh? Swin gets 65 points. Am I supposed to be happy about that or not? And C gets... a 15. Your name just plain isn't cute. Hear that, S? Mask here got a 15. I don't even get what her criteria is. That mask is also just hideous. I'm of the opinion that you should take it off. Hear, hear! And tell us your real name while you're at it. I'll consider it, should the need ever arise. Yay! That's one step forward. Don't fall for it! That's what they say to placate you so you'll drop the subject. Then they don't gotta do jack. Guys, the mission...
Hey, aren't they... So, Thor's Class 7 is here after all. Um, is something the matter? No, it's nothing.
Beautiful. You know, I might be kind of late in asking this, but are you all good? With what? Like, is it safe for you to be downing all this human food? You're not gonna break from one too many desserts, are you? Hm? I think it's fine. My body seems to be converting the food I consume into fuel to keep me energized. It's not as efficient as recharging with septium, but it's not terrible. Huh, so you're voracious by design. Wait, let me get this straight. You can pig out all you want and not gain a single curum? It just gives you energy? Mm-hmm. Rosenberg dolls are made to retain their shape no matter the circumstances. Humans gain fat from eating too much food, though, don't they? Are you looking to gain some weight? Hmm. I, uh... I'll be fine. I'm a growing girl with the metabolism of a horse. If I don't eat like crazy, I won't get that extra va va -voom that's sure to get S's love on lock. va va -voom sounds nice. Good luck! Hmm... Why don't we walk and talk? They say that's the best way to enjoy food from a stall. Alright, let's go! Since we're on our way, I read there's a real nice food spot along Vanker Street. Really? Then what are we waiting for? Let's... You okay? I'm okay, thank you. Sorry about that. She can be a little clumsy. Aw, no worries. I'm just glad I could be her cushion so she wasn't hurt. Oh no, my crepe. Don't be sad. You can have mine, LP. Are, are you sure? Of course I am. Anything to make you smile. Yay! Thank you again for catching me before I fell. No problem. Just try to watch your step from now on, okay?
let us begin. I don't know what you think you're up to, but we're gonna put a stop to it. Consider your escape route blocked. Well, well. If it isn't the rabbits from the intelligence division. There's another three. No, five of them. You did well to find us, Class 7. Not really. All we had to do was use the signal from my Arcus 2 to track you. You don't have to unveil every little thing. Doesn't matter that she did. They wanted to lure us here. Oh. Ah, you figured it out, huh? Since you have been lured, it is time we introduced ourselves. I am C, leader of the Reborn Imperial Liberation Front. And I'm, uh, Noin, same group. You can call me Dry then, I guess. Wait, huh? If you must address me, then call me Lep... Dolly! <laughs> Did you just snort at me? I think it suits you. Look at our widow Dolly. Isn't she the cutest thing? <clears throat> I knew dynamite came in small packages, but now terrorists do too, huh? Is this truly the same group that captured me and her highness? No. They've borrowed their name at most. The original one's been disbanded for sure. What do you think reborn means? Just who are you, C? Maybe I don't know the answer to that just yet. But I do know it isn't the same as it was the first time around. Why tell you when half the fun is in the mystery? Tell us why you abducted His Highness and Lady Sherizard. And why you stole my Arcus too! And why you want us here! All valid inquiries. But we are not at school, and I am not your instructor. I'm under no obligation to answer anything you ask. Oh, we get that. You'll only wish you did after we beat the ever-living hell out of you. That could prove very effective, but only if you have enough strength to make good on your threat. Well... We'll show you we have more than enough! They're strong. Class 7's got the chops to back up their rep. Giving up so soon, children? I was just taking five. We're only just getting started. Mm. Give my Arcus 2 back already! Yay! <laughs> Hope you like the bomb I put inside. What? Milliam! Milliam! Ah! Boom! Kidding! See you later! What happened? <sighs> they got away. But to where? Hmm. Did the wind pick up now or something? Wait, I get what's going on. They fled underground. Should we pursue them? Yes. After we update Representative Regnitz. They can't have gone far.
You're not tearing down anything! What? Who goes there? We're Thor's Military Academy's Class 7. Here by request a provisional representative Regnitz to arrest you. Give up and come quietly. The Ashen Chevalier? How the hell did he find us? We're leaving! Our work is done here! Void Breaker! Crystal Edge! Aerial Dust! Damn it. You're just a little short. <laughs> as fast as they are cowardly. We can worry about them once we've dealt with the more pressing threat. Listen! The war is over! I understand you don't like how it ended. But what good is organizing a coup d'etat going to do? Silence! We're not interested in a word you have to say, hero. You're a filthy traitor, Ashen Chevalier! So many of us joined the army to follow in your footsteps. Only for you to trample all over our ambitions. You couldn't possibly understand the frustration of those who died in that war. Or even those left behind. It's time you took responsibility for your actions. <sighs> I think you need to take responsibility for your actions first. Indeed. Only the truly weak try to blame others for their own failings. Hmm. Guess you're too weak to see the obvious. If you don't understand that, then you have no right to lecture any of us. Thank you, everyone. Any more kind words are wasted on them. <sighs> Enough of this. Now that you've seen us here, you won't be leaving alive. <laughs> like you're strong enough to stop us. Our numbers are roughly even. But I've heard of Class Seven's strength. We'd be fools to challenge you head on. Fortunately, we just received a useful tool that's simply begging to be tested. How about we give it a trial run before tomorrow's main event? I don't know what you're planning, but I suggest you surrender at once. Yeah! Now that I've got my Arcus 2 back, you won't be getting off lightly. You're squaring up against the Millie and Tilly plus Lammy and Sammy combo, and you're not gonna like the punches it packs. It pains me greatly to let that terrible name pass, but this is hardly the time. Lam Soleus! Lammy! Salias! Lammy! What just happened? My horrible staff isn't responding! Neither is my battle orb mint! How did you disable all of our orbital devices? Could this be the same phenomenon that was documented in Liberal four years ago? So you're up the society's ass too, huh? We're not obligated to tell you anything. But now, only four of you can face us in combat. I can hardly believe it's this effective. The originals brought the Orbal shutdown phenomenon, and this is a perfect replica. The Gospel R all but means Valflame Palace's defenses are as good as nothing. Well, how do you like your odds now? We don't stand a chance of losing. You do realize that if we destroy that device and capture you all, your coup d'etat is doomed to fail, right? Ha! That's not happening. All right, this fight's on us. We can do this as long as we fight as a team. Oh, I hate that we have to just sit here. I agree, but all we can do is leave this to those who can fight. Don't worry, they'll be able to cover us. We won't let you down. Not being able to use orbital arts is a hindrance, but it's hardly a fatal one. You better be ready for the beating of a lifetime!
Class 7 know where we were meeting? We kept such a close eye on them. They had no chance to get that information. Is it really okay to leave those soldiers behind? We've done what we've set out to do. What they do now is of no concern to us. They wouldn't have been much help in fulfilling our goal anyway. We're better off returning to Crossbell and reporting to the Supreme Leader. You won't be reporting to anyone. You will tell us everything you know, and then you will never cause trouble again. Damn it! An ambush! Who are you? I thought you'd never ask. We are the Reborn... We have no name to share with the likes of you. Huh? We're not here to play games. Get them! How? How could elite soldiers lose to a trio of children? So, might I ask if either of you are proficient in torture? It doesn't sit right with me, but I can do it if needed. Hmm... Yeah, I got you, boss. The trick to torture, you see, is that you've got to take it really slow. They'll need to think that they'll be able to handle the pain. Make it small and steady, then wear them down bit by bit as you inflict more and more. If they're still not willing to talk after that, then it's time to start cutting off their limbs. Oh, not all at once, of course. It starts with their toes, then their ankles and knees, then you edge up their thighs. Then it's off with their fingers, wrists, elbows, and shoulders. Oh, but if you just keep cutting away at body parts like that, they'll die of blood loss. That's why I stitch everything back on as I slice it off. So you'll still have your limbs, just they'll be prettier with thread. You'll be like a stuffed toy. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Don't worry. I'm real good at this. I won't let you die. Still, all I'm using is an ordinary needle and thread. You won't be able to move your arms or legs. They'll be sewn to your torso, but no matter how it hurts or how you will it, it'll be like they were never yours at all. You can try your left hand or your right hand. You can try your left leg or right leg. You can try and try and try, but you'll never be able to move them again. By the way, if you just can't get enough of my thread, I'll keep going and stitch your mouth and eyelids closed. You'll still be alive, and you'll still be able to think. You just won't be able to do anything else. That sure would get boring quick though, huh? I can fix that too. I can attach more string and make you dance around like a big old marionette. Oh, maybe then you could be LP's friend. I'm sure she'd like to get to know some other dolls. But if you're still not willing to talk after all that, I'll just unstitch your mouth and... I'll talk. I'll tell you anything. Just... just please stop. I beg you. You're so scary, Nadia. Aw, did you think I meant all that? Then you didn't? <laughs> of course I did. Stop messing with her. <laughs> Sorry! Her reactions are just so cute I couldn't resist! I was blowing smoke, LP. I don't do stuff like that anymore. Anymore? There are lots of things in this world that you're better off not knowing. Or... Do you want to be the marionette at the end of my thread? Uh, I'm going to scout out our route! Don't go by yourself, you'll get lost! <sighs> be back, going after her. Oopsie, she's never gonna look at me the same way again. Your acting was very convincing. Or was that a hearty anecdote from the past? 
What did you say to those guys? Half the fun is in the mystery? Either way, consider me impressed. I thought it was my imagination at first, but one's gut instinct exists for a reason. Eager as you appear to earn your riches through my offer, you did so with much greater caution than Swim. Your guard is high even as we speak. <sighs> You're slick. Swin might look like he handles our work just fine, but his heart bleeds more than the blood he spills. He's not made for this life. That's why it's up to me to handle the unpleasant side of things. I see. You make for quite the ideal duo, I must say. Why, thank you. You each boast unparalleled skill in some respects and significant flaws in others. Yet your strengths and weaknesses compensate for one another's like two pieces in a jigsaw. It's as if you were carefully selected and trained to become the perfect pair. We're not together because of that. You call us two pieces in a jigsaw, and it's clear you enjoy treating us like fun parts of a mystery to be fitted in a greater puzzle. But two can play at that game, see? It's been a couple days now. I've already got a good idea on just who you are. There are still questions that need answering for it to make sense, so I can't say I know with complete certainty. But I'd bet on me being right. How fortunate for me that I fired one of your intellect. I'm gonna make this painfully clear. If you stab us in the back... No. If you so much has caused the slightest harm to us, You'll spend every waking moment of the rest of your life wishing you hadn't. And if I were to view that another way, I have nothing to fear so long as I do nothing of the sort. We shall remain good, happy friends for as long as we're together. I'd rather not lose two capable hired hands, and I imagine you would rather not lose your chance at the mirror. Am I wrong? <laughs> nope, not even a little. You may be a total villain, but you keep it simple. And I like that about you. Oh, but don't take it like a schoolgirl crush. I already have the love of my life. A pity that he sees you as no more than an exasperating little sister. <sighs> of course you noticed. I'm working on it, alright? Then I wish you well. I wasn't expecting to end up in a place like this. Did we lose them? I know I've lost the strength to walk.
Not another step, see? Full armrest. Figured you'd know who I am if you took my old alias. Indeed I do. Though I had thought the unrest in Jirai would keep you occupied for longer than it apparently did. It's dicey over there, but it's nothing Stark can't handle for now. Can't beat knowing friends have got your back when shit hits the fan. <laughs> you feel me? I assume you knew we'd show up? Who is he? This wasn't in the plan. One wrong coincidence, and we might have delivered you to him instead. We only ruled him out because he hasn't gone by sea since the Civil War. So, are you here to stake your claim on the letter? Or are you seeking compensation for the damages I've dealt under its use? You kidding? I could die of shame thinking of all the stunts I pulled back then. Even seeing your mask, I get the sudden urge to smash it to pieces! Really? But my mask is so much more tasteful. You think you can pull it off now, but trust me, you're gonna look back and wish you never did. I'll take your words to heart. Now stand down. No point. I bought all the time I was looking for. Oh? Why are you here? I knew you weren't that sea. We tarried far too long, it would seem. We'll catch up later. Let's take this crew down first. <laughs> Not bad. What kind of loser gets beaten by their copycat? Hey, I ain't lost yet. Re. Let's take it up a notch. Got it! Huh? Oh! You're staying here. <laughs> it's not easy being outnumbered two to one. Gotcha! Shooting my shot! You're finished! A pity. I didn't expect my cover to be blown quite this quickly. What? <laughs> Knew it. Hmm? You've grown, Eusus, as have your friends. Rufus? It's Rufus! Well, there's a twist I didn't see coming. But he's supposed to be in Crossbell! How is this possible? How did... What is Crossbell's new Supreme Leader doing here? You seem to be confusing me with someone else. That title is not mine. That makes no sense! Then you had best get to making sense of it. I have my own affairs to attend to. Ah, impeccable timing. We're off. Oh. Huh? What do you think you're doing? This is no way to treat a lady. Yes. Yeah. Wait. Had an airship waiting for them. Who thinks that far ahead? There's something we have to know, Rufus. Did you steal the Courageous too? Did you abduct Prince Oliver and Lady Sherizard? Was that really you? It was not. I had no involvement in that incident, but it made for some fine bait. Bait? But then where could they be? If you wish to know what befell the Courageous Two, make for the Nord Highlands. Why there? With that, 
I bid you farewell. Should we meet again? Let it be in crossbow. We've been expecting you. I suspected it was you. A pleasure as always, Yin. Uh, I keep doing that. You prefer Risha. It's good to see you're both in good health as well, Detective Bannings and Miss McDowell. And if it isn't Major Arendelle, I trust you've been keeping well since we last met? I'm getting by. I've had my hands full since the last time we teamed up. So good to see you remember. You were a valuable asset indeed. I wish I could be as satisfied with the sad state Crossbell is in. Thank goodness Master Shin returned to the Republic just before all of this began. Indeed. It was quite the stroke of good fortune. I'm thankful you contacted me, at least. Might I ask where Elia and Kia are? You needn't worry. They're in the fortress behind us. After all, we wouldn't want them being hurt now, would we? I wish I could say I didn't see this coming. You made your position so obvious by not appearing during the chaos at the signing ceremony. You're in Rufus's back pocket, aren't you? Oh, how little trust you have in me. Or, you perhaps trusted exactly what I'd do. The Supreme Leader made contact as we were considering our Crossbell Branch's future under renewed independence. Once the Elders gave their blessing, we decided to take him up on his generous offer. You really are the worst. Loyalty means nothing to them. They'll betray you in an instant if the price is right. What's more, given their formation and numbers, they knew exactly who among us would be coming. <laughs> Astute as ever, Yin. Yes, a kind-hearted informant told us exactly who we should expect, letting us be fully prepared. An informant? Don't tell me it was... No. It couldn't have been Lecter. There would have been no reason to stop the EDF from arresting us if he was working with Rufus, too. Oh. That's a fair point. <laughs> Are you sure you aren't just being too naive? But yeah, pretty sure you wanted him to suspect me, didn't you, White Orchid Dragon? 
My apologies for the confusion. I simply thought it would be easier on you if you didn't know the truth. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I'm starting to get it now. We haven't had contact with that many people since the ceremony. That basically narrows the informant down to someone in Armorica. Someone who knows us well enough to give him accurate information on what to expect. Wait. Who are you suggesting? Risha. No. Sansan? -san? What's she doing here? Wait. It couldn't be. I told him everything he wanted to know. That you and two SSS members came to the village with the red-haired man who'd been to our restaurant. <laughs> what have you done to her? Is she under some kind of hypnosis? Uh, please. I may be capable, but you should know that such things fall outside my area of expertise. All I did was lend an ear to a kind-hearted young woman who wanted what was best for her friend. Let's go home, Risha. The world will be a better place if we do what the Supreme Leader says. You won't have to do anything dangerous ever again. Wait... It can't be... Sansan. You're doing this because you're worried about me? Risha... She's giving off the same aura the people at the signing ceremony were. Must have gotten to her without her even realizing it. I guess it was dormant till something triggered it to make her loyal to the Supreme Leader. You've got to be kidding. That's possible? This power defies all logic. Pardon the interruption, but I do believe you'll have time for speculation as you're being escorted back to the city. Lao. Certainly. I'm afraid we must take all of you into custody. Please try not to take it personally. <sighs> Stay on your toes. Each of them is skilled in Eastern martial arts. Hold on. This wasn't what we agreed. You said you wouldn't hurt them. <sighs> Sansan! -san! What the hell do you think you're doing? Settle down. I merely rendered her unconscious for a short while. <laughs> we'll send her back to the city with you. So don't worry. Get ready. Sorry, Sal. But we'll be leaving here under our own power. Let's do this, Risha! Of course. You won't have the time to regret what you've done. We'll back you up. For Kia and Ilya's sakes, too. An impressive performance, Yin. I hope you didn't think I'd be soft on you simply because we've been allies before. Hand over Kia, Ilya, and Sansan, or we'll leave you no other choice! Ugh. How are we supposed to stop her? I suppose I should have known that even Lao wouldn't be able to defeat you now. My apologies, Master Sao. You're outnumbered, Sao. Give Kia back to us! You know this won't end well for you if you continue to resist. I'll admit that you make a convincing argument. But unfortunately, a few observers have arrived to make sure I honor our agreement. What? Well, looks like you're in deep shit. Is that... Garcia? What are you doing here? He has Kia with him. Ilya's there too. <sighs> Risha. Lloyd! Ellie! I messed up. Sorry that I got caught. We found Kia as she was helping evacuate people in the city. But who was going to rescue her? That was when we thought to take her and the nearby Ilya under our wing. What? Hold on, Kia. We'll rescue you and escape here together. Don't worry! You've been really brave. Just hold on a little longer. Okay.
You're not the same police brat from a few years ago, eh, Lloyd Bannings? For a split second, I thought that was Guy at the ceremony. You've really come a long way. Wish I could say the same about you. All I can feel is disappointment. I honestly believed you'd atone for your sins and turned over a new leaf. Thought so too. But then I got offered as much turf as I wanted in this whole United Nation thing. Sounded like a nice way to get Ravach bet together. So I agreed to knock these guys into shape as commander. Who'd pick three hots and a cot over a one-way ticket to freedom? <laughs> Gotta back the winning horse with its free mirror. Did you say your goal is to get Ravash back together? That's why you're doing this? But... Cut the crap! You honestly expect me to buy that, Garcia? You had your chance to escape when I was falsely imprisoned. You turned around and helped me. You told stories about my brother and gave me the perspective I needed. You picked me up when I was at my lowest. Now you want me to believe that you would side with a dictator just to take the easy way out? Like hell you would. Lloyd. You're right. It makes no sense. Neither does Uncle Dieter's choice to side with him. Maybe you haven't come as long away as I thought. Still sound wet behind the ears to me. Either grow a pair, or get your ass off the battlefield! So you are going to offer your support. We do make for strange bedfellows, don't we? Huh. I'm just tired of how long this is taking. Helping you makes my skin crawl, but you best damn pull your weight, White Orchid Dragon. I wouldn't want to disappoint you, old friend. You always did make my heart dance with excitement as an enemy. I hope you'll do the same as an ally. <laughs> Great, a former regimental commander from Zephyr, and a master martial artist. Neither of them are to be taken lightly. Let's settle this, Tal. Good luck, guys! You can do this! We will. Just you watch. We'll be there to save you before you know it! <sighs> Damn kids. <laughs> Splendid. Now's our chance! Risha! Ellie! What are you? We did it! You're not hurt, right? <laughs> I guess I don't have anything to worry about if you have the energy to tackle me from behind like that. <laughs> yep, I'm fine. Thanks for coming to save me. <laughs> I never doubted for a second that we'd see each other again. <laughs> Neither did I. Ilya, are you alright? Risha? You came all the way here just for me? You look like you're totally exhausted. Take it easy. We'll get you somewhere where you can recover. Huh? They're all right! Well, at least we finally managed to get things under control. Get away from her! <laughs> what a shame. I nearly had you, Risha. Those were terrific reflexes. You always do live up to my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> huh? 
Ilya? It's good to see you two again. I've come to resume my duties as your police dog. What? W wolves? They're just a bunch of mangy beasts. If only it were the beasts. Hell are you guys doing here? The Growl Sritter. Not bad. Wasn't expecting you to dodge that. They're just as skilled as we heard. All the more reason we couldn't have arrived at a better time. That Rufus fellow is proving to be even more dangerous than I thought. What's the Grosswitter doing here? <laughs> no wonder the old gut was telling me things were gonna work out. Guess that makes me two for two today. Take your fellow evildoers and be gone, fallen dancer. Your schemes have met their end. So it seems. What a shame that we lost the element of surprise. How I hate letting Lloyd and Risha escape from my grasp, but oh well. What's gotten into you? You've got to be kidding me. Huh. Guess the party's over. <laughs> and I was just starting to enjoy myself, too. We'll have to settle for letting you have, Kia. May we meet again soon, Yin and SSS. We'll cut things short for today. Enjoy your freedom while you can, and have fun struggling against the inevitable. You're helpless to stop us, now that you've lost your way. <gasps> What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> <laughs> the curtain has risen on the show of a lifetime, and nothing can lower it now. So sit back and watch the fun unfold. The world will soon become one with Crossbell at its center, just as we've always wanted. Ilya, wait! Wait! It's not true, right? Tell me you weren't the one who enslaved the people of Crossbell! Tell me you weren't the one who turned poor Sansan against us! You'll have to prove yourself worthy if you want to play a part in this great performance. No performer gets to take the stage without an audition now, do they? I'm looking forward to playing Judge. Ilya! Ilya! You were quite punctual. You bet! Sup, and welcome aboard the Argo, the vessel of Nine Valley's new high-speed transport service. Uh, our pilot is a child! We might have been better off on the ground. I'll have you know that I'm a licensed pilot. And that's real rich coming from you guys. You look like a bunch of kids about to go on a picnic with their daddy to me. Ooh, we got burned. Phew, <sighs> but boy, did I not see your daddy's ID coming. Who knew my mystery client would turn out to be our former Governor General, Rufus Alborea? Oops. What, do you prefer Supreme Leader now?
Please, if I knew I'd be repeating myself so soon, I would have gathered my audience. That title is not mine. But then... I'm confused. Who's Rufus? That's this guy's real name. C was a nickname. So it's Rufus, huh? Hmm. I think it's much cuter than C. I give it 85 points! Ooh, he kicked your butt, S. Why would I care when I don't even get what criteria she's basing these on? So are you famous then, Rufus? Everyone seems to know who you are. He's not just famous, he's super famous. He's the elder son of House Alborea, one of the four great houses of Erebonia, and he became Crossbell's first governor general. Together with the Empire's Chancellor and Crown Prince, he led the country to all-out war. But then he got arrested after it ended. That's all the big common knowledge stuff, but trust me, I know all about the skeletons in his closet. Wow, you're so smart, Nadia. Is knowing part of handling the unpleasant side of things? Wow, you're so smart, Rufus. Can she try not to stir up trouble with him?
I am afraid this side of the deck is occupied. You'll have to sleep elsewhere. I wasn't planning to sleep out here. Oh? Then what's brought you outside? I wanted to go stargazing. What about you? I wanted to take in the night air. Since we're both here, there's something I'd like to ask. What is it? I know that you're a famous man, but are you a good man or a bad man? <laughs> bad, though that would be putting it mildly. So very bad? Very, very bad. I have used anything and everything to advance my interests, be it titles, fame, or even those pure of heart. There is little point in feigning a moral compass when human lives hold no value to me, or acting chivalrous when all that does is hinder me. Do you still feel that way? I do. I'm using you, Swin and Nadia, to bring my designs to fruition, am I not? I'm also using those we met in the capital, like my brother. None of that sounds like something someone good would do, yes. You really are a very bad man. I'm glad we could come to an understanding. So, armed with that knowledge, what do you intend to do? Am I supposed to do something? I suppose a doll has no reason to care if a human is good or evil. Being a doll has nothing to do with it. But were you hoping I would admonish you? Or perhaps comfort you? Of course not. Okay, then I still intend to do nothing. Whether I praise you for your deeds as a hero, or chastise you for your misdeeds as a villain, it won't change you at your core. You are who you are. Just how does humanity look through your lens for you to think in such simple terms? I don't know. I can't answer that when I'm still learning about what it means to be human. All I can say is, I don't see if you're good or bad, where you're from, or how you were raised. I don't see what you've done or haven't done, what you possess or what you lack, because none of those are what make you exist as a person. So it can't be that you suddenly don't exist just because someone decides to reject those parts of you. That's a... quite a philosophical approach to the matter. Or perhaps that objective thinking is the most one of artificial intelligence can fathom. I don't know. How could I know? Just to me, being is what makes a human a human. Perhaps you're right. And so, it's what makes you, you. <sighs> perhaps you're right. I don't remember the exact moment I began to search for meaning in my life. My father elected to raise me as his own son, irrespective of the fact I was born because his wife laid with another man. He did so with the same ease he rejected his flesh and blood because he was born from a common woman. When I learned the truth, I finally understood that House Alberea wanted me not as a human being, but as a product of noble blood. It was so hard to bear that it made me sick. Was that all? Was that the only reason I existed? I refused to accept it. I couldn't take it. And as I turned my eyes from this terrible truth, a new, more terrible thought dawned upon me. If that was not the reason I existed, then what was? That was when I met him. It is said we seek that which we do not have. Through him, I sought the father I never had. I convinced myself that if I did as sons do and became more than he ever was, then I would understand the real reason for my existence. And there it was. At last, I had a goal, something to pursue. I stopped at nothing to make that goal a reality. 
There was no effort too ambitious, no principle too sacred to violate. But no matter what I did, it still wasn't enough. Everything I had done to secure my victory had led to a resounding, humiliating defeat. A defeat at the hands of my own brother, who despite his unfortunate upbringing, had grown into someone strong and true. I envied him for that, but perhaps I should have known all along that a mere product could never hope to have a real, genuine purpose. The whole predicament would have been worth a laugh had it not been so deeply painful. Why am I here? What is my reason for being? Who am I? You are who you are. I don't see what you've done or haven't done, what you possess or what you lack, because none of those are what make you exist as a person. Just to me, being is what makes a human a human. <laughs> Such nonsense. I thought you weren't planning to sleep out here. I'm unsure if dolls are capable of catching colds, but I believe you've taken in the stars enough for one night.
As you well know, Western Zemuria is in a lamentable state. Jirai and North Ambria have become frequent targets of terrorism, and racial conflict remains rife throughout the Calvert Republic. Evil is no longer a seedling to be uprooted with ease. It has bloomed and dispersed corruption across the entire continent. Yet all hope is not lost. I ask that you remember the ideals of the late Blood and Iron Chancellor, Gilead Osborne. He understood that if we could not eradicate evil in parts, that we must then be united as a whole through armed might. If we forego a unified system to divide and allocate our resources where they are best needed, we will never know true peace. That is why I, Rufus Alberea, the successor to His Excellency's legacy, have vowed to bring our many great nations together. We cannot let evil continue to sow its seeds. We must fight back for the sake of humanity's future, for the sake of our world's future. And should any neighboring country to which I extend this warm invitation refuse, they will receive due judgment for their arrogance. Recuria! Over here! Remember that I'm a Rosenberg doll. I'm in a different league compared to those garden variety specimens. And yet, 
Some of these were in fact made by the studio of which you speak. Really? Oh, you're right! This perfectly sculpted masterpiece is unmistakably a Rosenberg! You have our thanks. Now, would you prefer Angel of Slaughter or Ren Bright? Call me whatever you like, Jade Rook. I suspected something wasn't right about our new supreme leader, and seeing you explains why. I've heard you were an astute one, and you do not disappoint. Someone you know? Not on a personal level, no. But we are familiar with one another's backgrounds. I honestly didn't expect to meet you quite like this. Though, truth be told, my interest is mostly in her.
well, well, are those customers I spy. <laughs> what a peculiar bunch you are.
My apologies for the delay. Just the gal we need. What's the word, Claire? Well, it took longer than I'd hoped, but this information came directly from our sentries near the border. They confirmed that Crossbell's new supreme leader never left the state while C was active. Then he wasn't lying. Yeah, there really are two Rufuses. But how is that possible? It isn't. It's preposterous, even. Or so I would say had we not seen him in the flesh. He played us enough to be the real thing. He sure did. First he calls himself C and sets things up so we'd make our way to the capital. Then he gets us to take care of that coup for him, while he gets away with whatever info the EDF provided him. Using every means at his disposal has always been his way. And this was no exception. Then are we in agreement that the Rufus and Crossbell isn't the real one? The evidence seems to point that way at present. Perhaps it is also my hope that it points that way. I doubt it, since I'm inclined to agree. Rufus acting the way the Supreme Leader does after what he went through doesn't make as much sense to me. You had to have had an effect on him in some way at the Imperial Fortress, Yusus. I would like to believe that as well. Have you learned anything more about the three children accompanying him? We're still looking into them, I'm afraid. I know our side can't talk, but they were strong as hell for being kids. All I can confirm from my end is that no record of them exists in the Intelligence Division's database. To wonder Crown for even the ID to pin down means it'll be extra tough for us. It's best to assume they and whoever was controlling the airship are hired help. It should have been impossible for your friends to win. Usus, members of Class 7, please. Tell me why. It's because you refuse to rely on anyone but yourself. We won't be getting anywhere wondering what he's up to here. I propose we move on using the one lead he provided. If you wish to know what befell the Courageous Two, make for the Nord Highlands. Do you feel you can trust his word enough to warrant going to the Highlands, Reen? If anything else, I did get the impression that he is actively against the Supreme Leader. There's likely some ulterior motive behind telling us that lead. But Yusus is right that we should use it. Especially if there's any chance we can help Crossbell in the process. Hmm. I respect your decision, of course, but... <sighs> Some of us will have to remain in the capital. The aftermath of the coup d'etat requires some attention before it can be considered resolved. I'll stick around for it. May as well see it through. It'd be good to hit up the Entertainment District and the Bracer Guild for info while I'm here too. Gaius is in the middle of an investigation of his own in Nord, I think. There should be enough people if you meet up with him and anyone else who's up east. Muse is also planning to travel from the branch campus to join him. But will that be enough under the circumstances? Then will we suffice? Huh? Kurt! And... Hello there again. Sounds like you've been making some headway into the investigation. About your lead. Since our father is still occupied in the West, we will be accompanying you in his stead. May we Vanders be of great service.
<sighs> What's wrong? Heart group is pretty stacked for this, so I don't think you need to worry. I am worried, but not about that. We all refrained from voicing our concerns yesterday. But you're not going to take on too much to compensate for what those soldiers said, are you? The ones from the underground. <sighs> you're a filthy traitor, Ashen Chevalier! So many of us joined the army to follow in your footsteps, only for you to trample all over our ambitions. You couldn't possibly understand the frustration of those who died in that war, or even those left behind! It's time you took responsibility for your actions! <sighs> it's true. Their words did affect me. They reminded me that for some, the war never really ended. Try to see them as the exception they are. Exactly. That isn't your fault, Rain. I know. But it's also not something I can turn a blind eye to. It's only by understanding one another that we will be able to move forward. At least, that's what I think now. We just don't want to let that consume you. Everyone in the Imperial Army bears that responsibility, myself included. None of us here want you to shoulder that burden alone. Isn't that right? Altina? Muse? Oh, absolutely. Class 7 is and will always be about supporting one another. I think they've echoed my sentiments. Well then, have a safe journey. If there are answers to be found in Nord, then I know you'll find them. Thanks. Keep us in your thoughts. you are. I hope the trip wasn't too tiring. Oh! And here I thought we'd be getting here first. We just happened to be on the train right before yours. I'm glad you all arrived safely. And long time no see, Lieutenant Colonel. Likewise. It's reassuring to have you with us. We heard about the attempted coup from Major Revelt. It must have been so hard for you, Reen. You're kind to worry, but I'm fine. Better than fine now that you're both here. All I have to do is see your face, and it's like my heart feels a little lighter. <laughs> then it was worth it, huh? But there's no river I wouldn't cross to find you if you needed me. Though magic makes it simple enough to skip the river crossing route if there was an emergency. So don't you forget that all you have to do is call, and I'll be right there. Thanks. I won't. But boy, I'm still finding it hard to believe we have two Rufuses running around now. I'll cross my fingers the lead from the literal lesser of two evils pays off, but we still need to be smart about our approach. Agreed. There's no telling what could happen. That's all the more reason why we appreciate your and Lady Mildeen's attention to this matter. Oh, I'm more than happy to give it. Where's Gaius, by the way? He's gotten a head start investigating in the Highlands, I believe. A soldier gave us a message saying he intends to convene with us at the settlement. I see. Then we'll head his way once we've greeted the person in charge here. I believe he's someone you know? Colonel Dalton of the 23rd Armored Division, yes. I haven't seen him since his division took stewardship of the gate after the war. Oh right, it was the 7th that was in charge of Zender up until last year. The 23rd was one of the new divisions created for the war, wasn't it? Indeed. 
With all the changes underway in the army, the 23rd has no general at present. But I hear the Colonel's done a stellar job of keeping the division unified in the absence of one. He sounds like someone who'd more than cooperate with her investigation, at least. I've already informed him of our arrival. We should go and see him right away. Listen, Reen. Don't go biting off more than you can chew. Being an instructor doesn't mean you have to be the strong one in the group 24-7. I didn't have to be because you were there for me. So that means you don't have to be because I'll be there for you. At least I'll try to be. <sighs> you just get it, don't you? Thank you. That makes me feel a lot better. Good. Welcome to Zendergate. I've been looking forward to your arrival. I am Dalton, acting commander of the 23rd Armored Division. It's... breathtaking. Nothing I've heard could have prepared me for just how truly beautiful it is. It's your first time here, huh? It is. I've been really looking forward to it. If only the other three could be here to see it. Words don't do it justice. 
They really don't. I wish I could have let you first see it under lighter circumstances. <laughs> it feels like only yesterday that we came here as part of our field studies. It's moving to think that this is where our ancestor took up arms to fight at Dreykel's side. It's held a special place in my heart beyond our ancestry since our uncle and I were stationed here. Regardless, I will make for the Watchtower and set about gathering information there. You should stick to your original plan and reunite with Gaius at the settlement. I'm alright with that, but... Are you sure it's wise to go alone? I think it'd be better if I came with you. <laughs> I know how capable you are, Kurt, but there's no need to worry about me. As a soldier, I'll have a much easier time operating in a military facility. Should anything happen, however, I will be in touch. Take care. I hope he's going to be all right. I imagine that the Prince's disappearance must be weighing heavily on him. I had the chance to briefly speak with him about that on the train, actually. I wanted to accompany them on their honeymoon, but Olivier insisted I not go. I got the impression he wanted to give me some time off to honor the war's end. Of all the times, that idiot had to go and put my needs first. Made it to the settlement. We did, but this is my first time seeing yurts. You would normally see more of them. I wonder what's going on. Ready? Well, there's class seven. It's so good to see you all again. How have you been? Oh, um... Is he an acquaintance of yours, Instructor? I'm not sure that we've met. Come on, that's not very funny. I know it's been a while, but I knew you from a glance. W wait, I see it now. Toma? You're Gaius' little brother, right? Looks like someone hit his growth spurt. Did you meet during your field studies? Yeah. Gaius' family as a whole has been very welcoming whenever we've come to Nord. It's kind of funny to say, but you're getting to be around the age we were on our first visit, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. But you really didn't recognize me then? I gotta say, that stings a little. Sorry, but you honestly do look so much more mature than when we last met. You must be Charles, then. You've grown up a lot yourself. <laughs> you think? Thank you. Guys had mentioned you were coming, but I didn't expect you to arrive so soon after he said it. Speaking of which, you should be coming back soon. Coming back now, actually. I hope you all had a pleasant journey from the capital. Good to see the winds kept you safe. <laughs> right back at you. I hope your investigation's been going well. Sounds like we've arrived at a busy time. Not at all. 
most of the work for moving the settlement has been finished already. But let me make us some tea before we talk any further. You must be tired. Nord tea is as soothing as I've been told. It really is. Black tea is relaxing too, but the flavor of these leaves is very distinctive. I'm glad you approve. Hmm. Haven't been able to enjoy a cup of this since your field study. You tried it then? I would have thought you'd been unable to since you joined near the end of our stay. That's right. You and Sharon came by to check up on us around the same time. It's weird, the things you forget. We have plenty more, so please, have as much as you like. It's too bad you weren't here yesterday to try the cheese we made. It was so good! Cheese or no cheese, you've given us more than enough of a welcome. My travel fatigue is all but gone. It's amazing seeing how much you two have grown since we saw each other. You look like you're taking after your mom, Sheeta. Y you really think so? I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> and you look even cooler, and Emma looks even prettier. I think so too. Gaius has always kept us up to date on how you've been and the ways you've changed. You've overcome a great many ordeals on the road to where you sit now. It makes me so proud to see the students we've hosted go on to accomplish so many great things. You're kind to think of us so much. Thank you for saying so. I hope we can keep making you proud. And now my pride extends to you two as well. <laughs> That's just how mothers are. Did we ever introduce ourselves to you guys? That's our mom, and we're Gaius' little sisters. I'm Sheeta, and she's Lily. Thanks for being bros with our bro.
They don't call this one of the Highlands' most famous sites for nothing. Talk about statuesque. Literally. <gasps> Maybe I'll start a listicle of the Empire's best views when I get back to the office. Isn't that... Is that you, Grace? Oh, there you are. I've been waiting for you, Class 7. And you, Divine Blade. Congrats on the upgrade from Ash and Chevalier. Gaius said there was another visitor, but he kept Hu a surprise. So it was you! I was just as surprised to find her in Nord, believe me. How did you make it to the Empire with Crossbell occupied? <laughs> the only way I could have. I wasn't in Crossbell when the occupation went down. Around just before the ceremony started, I got an interesting lead through the Orbal Net. So I left coverage of the actual signing to the others and jumped on the next train to Erebonia. Thinking on it now, I'm honestly not sure if I'd call that good or bad luck. I can imagine. This must all be very hard for you. It is. But I've never been one for sitting around sulking when life throws me a curveball. There's gotta be a role for me to play in sorting all this out. The best thing I can do is get out there and take action. I wouldn't be much of a journalist or a crossbellin if I didn't.
We should be safe to dock. I don't see any signs of the Ebon Defense Force. Then we're good to go. So, so sorry. I just don't know what came over me. How could I ever think of betraying you like that? It's okay, Sansan. -san. You can't keep blaming yourself. If anything, I should have known something more was wrong. I'm a terrible friend for not realizing that you were struggling so badly or being manipulated. And Elia means the world to me. I should have been able to tell something was amiss. Risha... Thank you all for coming to our aid. I don't know what we would have done if you hadn't shown up when you did. Really, thanks. Don't mention it. Glad we could make it in time. The one you should be thanking is Zeit. We were looking into what the EDF was up to when he told us that you were in danger. Did he now? Still... It's not like you to be modest, Wazi. We really do appreciate it. Oh, thanks for rescuing us, Sight. You were a hero back there. And I've been way overdue for one of these. <laughs> that you have. My apologies for not returning after the operation. You're so flaky, Sight. Do you realize how long it's been? Tio and I have been waiting for you to show up again all this time, you know? My apologies. As a holy beast, there are limits to how much I can interfere. I am astounded at just how much you all have grown. The children of man truly do grow apace. <laughs> well, take your word for it. It would be nice to think I've grown a little, yeah. <laughs> I'm just overjoyed to see you again. You were sorely missed, Zeit. Yes. It's good to be back.
In that case, I'd like to stay here as well. Are you sure, Risha? Mm, that makes sense. You evaded her attack for the most part, but weren't you still injured? Yes. Please forgive me, everyone. I just need a little time. I'm still not ready to face up to what happened to Eli and Sansan -san just yet. And that's perfectly fine. If that's your decision, then we respect it. That's right. I'm sure you'll be able to find your way forward. And I'll be happy to have your help here in the meantime. I'd be happy to help. We'll cut things short for today. Enjoy your freedom while you can, and have fun struggling against the inevitable. You're helpless to stop us, now that you've lost your way. You didn't have to do that, but the gesture is still appreciated. Yeah, I've never fixed medical equipment before, so I didn't want to get anyone's hopes up. <laughs> you could have had me fooled with such fine work. You both did splendidly. I believe I owe you an apology. A big one. None of this would have happened had we protected everyone at the signing ceremony like we swore to. If only we'd been stronger. Hey, come on, Tio. Oh, Tio. Look 
Lloyd, it's Dio. I thought she might come here. Thank goodness she's all right. It looks like they're talking to evacuees from the city. Hmm? Hold on just a minute. gotten into you guys all of a sudden? There really isn't any need to be so pessimistic. No, that's not true at all. The SSS is going to keep fighting. We have allies we can depend on. The CPD, CGF, and even our friends from outside Crossbell. There are people who will surely help us. We won't allow you to suffer like this. We'll be the ones to put an end to it. Tio. Tio, you shouldn't. We were never... hope to them? That can't be true! We can't just give up and... Everything we did was... Hmm... Can you all hear yourselves? You're completely full of it! Lloyd... Kia... Wazi... Hey! You guys are alright! I was one of the people involved in that arrest, so let me make something perfectly clear. Letting Dieter Kreuz go free for what he did over two years ago was never an option. He attacked the city, had the Speaker detained, and even tried to take over the entire continent. Dieter was arrested in accordance with state law. The same as any cross Bellin would have been. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I... A responsibility? And why is that? Because you made them your symbols of justice? Because you decided they were your heroes? The SSS is just a division of the Crossbell Police Department. Nothing more, nothing less. You have no one to blame but yourselves for thinking any different. Their purpose isn't to make all of your problems go away. I know it's been a long two years. Two years where all Crossbellans could do was powerlessly watch the Empire trample over their pride. It's natural to wish that a savior would appear and solve everyone's problems. But personally, 
I never wanted to see Crossbell come to that. What Crossbell has given me is irreplaceable. Friends and family that mean the world to me, like Lloyd and Vald. So it pains me to see this as someone who's come to love Crossbell more than his old home. Wasi. The SSS chose the path they did because they wanted a little girl to be free. But that same little girl couldn't help but feel it was her fault when she saw Erebonia invade and take over her home. Because she knew that none of it would have happened if she didn't exist. Kia, no. <sighs> but she wasn't the only reason they chose the path that they did. The SSS had also seen how strong Crossbell became, facing adversity over and over again. They knew that if they chose any other path, the efforts and sacrifices of so many would be lost. Their home would never be the same. And they, along with that little girl, believed from the bottom of their hearts that all of Crossbell would overcome it for the better. She's right. That was what we decided. I want to answer the trust they placed in me however I can. I was all alone once, somewhere very dark. It's because of everyone around me that I have so much to be thankful for. The SSS and the people of Crossbell made me into the person I am today. So now I want to fight to help them. That means I'm here to pave a path forward for all of you too. And on it, I just know we'll see brighter days. Because it was Crossbell and its people that taught me the strength to persevere. It's disappearing. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> we have to keep doing what we always have. That's to keep moving forward. One step at a time. That we're not naive enough to believe that will be enough to take back what we lost. It's going to take the help of everyone who calls Crossbell home. So do me a favor and think about how you can help. What you would give to be free. And I promise the SSS will support you just as much as you've always supported us. Dio. Sorry I kept you waiting again. I'm glad you're okay. Do you hear yourself? I'm the one breathing a sigh of relief. Your injuries seemed so severe. And then we were all separated. So that's what this is all about. I can't imagine how tough it's been for you three being kept in the dark. Thanks for worrying about me. I know it couldn't have been easy. It never is. You're always so reckless. But I knew you'd come looking for me again. Lloyd, I'm so glad you found me. Wasn't gonna stop till I did. Oh. 
Would you listen to them go on and on? <gasps> I'm so happy for you, Tio. Would you not get off with the crying already?
So Kia, Wazi, a little late, but I've been meaning to thank you for earlier. For what? <laughs> Whatever is it for this time. Don't play dumb. I'm talking about how you chimed in at the hospital. You helped me realize something important. The citizens of Crossbell weren't the only ones who had lost sight of the truth. We had to. The SSS had a clear dream two years ago, when Crossbell was annexed by Erebonia. We wanted our home to be free again, but it wasn't just that. We weren't blind patriots, fighting to protect personal pride or acting on some grand ideal. Had we been, our actions wouldn't have led to Crossbell losing its freedom. Wouldn't have led it straight into the arms of the Empire. And the little girl we protected over giving Crossbell its freedom and future wouldn't be here supporting us. What we truly wanted. For her and for every citizen who would have to bear the burden of our choices was for them to smile. And if we could give them their home as well, then they could be free and smile as much as they dreamed. It really was that simple. Lloyd. <clears throat> It's true. That's how I felt. And I'm sure Ellie and Randy would say the same. But, sadly, I agree. Somewhere along the line, we lost sight of that goal. The more expectations people placed on us, the more we became convinced we were obligated to win back the state's freedom. That soon turned into wanting to be seen as the very symbols of independence. To be seen as heroes to our home. All the while, we were turning our eyes away from the feelings of despair and distrust that the people had been harboring. Those feelings were probably what allowed Rufus's words to worm their way into the citizens' hearts. But regardless, we aren't going to lose our way again. We'll keep sight of our goal this time and do things our way. We're not miracle workers. We'll just do our best to make people's lives better, while others help us as much as we help them. That's what's allowed us to come this far. Good. That sounds more like the SSS I fell in love with. And if you ask me, that's what it's going to take if you want to make it through this ordeal too. Every crisis you've overcome to date has been with the help of countless others. And this will be no different. I think what Wazi means to say is every crisis we've overcome... Because we're all one big family at the end of the day. That's why I decided to become Kia Bannings. <laughs> this is a chance for us to start over from zero, then. That's right. We're going to reclaim everything that was taken from us. And as always, we're going to fight, struggle, and shine the light on the truth. Together. Huh? What was that? I heard it, too. That sounds like... It's gunfire. And not just gunfire, either. Look up ahead. Stop where you are, rebels! Surrender now, or there will be no mercy! You holding up all right, Tita? I I'm fine, but at this rate... Get down, you two! There's more of them. Where did you guys come from? The SSS? What are all of you doing down here? We can explain later. Let's focus on taking care of these guys first. The SSS, huh? It must be our lucky day. Our Helmert will punish all who dare to oppose the Supreme Leader! That must be the name of this new model. <sighs> this is the last place I want to fight a Zalber Soldat. Nevertheless... Exactly. Now's not the time to falter. Everyone, prepare for battle! I'll back you up with my orders. Got okay. it. Okay.
Oh, uh, Mom, what's gotten into you? Are you freaking kidding me? I can handle this, so let me... Does your dumb, thick skull have eyes? You saw how many there are, and they have that new model with them. I have a different request for you, Agate Crossner. Protect Tita, even if it costs you your life. Do I make myself clear? Damn it, Erica! Mom! Mom! A new thread of destiny has been spun. Your path to where all may gather has been paved.
New information available for all visitors. Confirming completion of a new stratum. Permissions now granted to enter the Reverie Corridor's second stratum.
Departure noted.
Intruders detected. Initiating elimination protocols. Is everyone all right? We've come to your aid. Our attacks barely put a dent in it. Never have I encountered an archaism of such an indestructible nature. Doesn't mean it's invincible. If we work together, we can take it down! You can count on us for support. Until we meet up with Machias and Toa, I'd be glad to make myself useful enough for the both of them. I can't take the Black Workshop's technology being used for evil another minute longer. Not just because I'm an employee of Reinford, but because I'm the daughter of Franz Reinford. I couldn't ask for a better shoulder to lean on right now. Absolutely. I, of course, will assist you alongside my lady. I was the severing chains it would sit poorly on me to turn a blind eye to the Six Anguis's machinations. Well, enough for you to say. But you're more Sharon to us now than you ever were among the Enforcers. This burden isn't yours alone. <laughs> I appreciate you saying so, Father.
Testing, testing. Hello? I assume someone is there. Can you hear me? What? Who is calling us? And from where? Lloyd. I got it. You're speaking to Detective Lloyd Bannings of the Crossbell Police Department's Special Support Section. Could you tell me where you're calling from? <laughs> you're just gonna lay it all out there first thing? I hope you won't regret that. He's being direct to catch them off guard. Call it a Lloyd Special. There's a name I didn't expect to hear. I recognize some of the other voices, too. <laughs> Guess I don't need to worry about a thing if she's with her beloved. I've heard of him, but we've never met him. Well, he's got spunk. I like him. Huh? Why does everyone know him, Rufus? Is he a friend? <laughs> Not quite. But he is nevertheless at the right place at the right time. I will handle this. I'm afraid we have no intention of sharing that information with you. I assume you are aware of the problem we face? Hmm. Yeah. Looks like the security systems we're up against are interconnected. That means we aren't going anywhere if we don't work as a team. If you're willing, then so am I. Good. Your cooperation is much appreciated. On my signal, make an attempt to unlock the door. I assume that as long as we do it at the same time, we will succeed. All right. Oh, it opened. So that's how this all works. The door on our ends open too. You have our thanks. I imagine we'll be encountering more doors of this nature. Might we count on your assistance as we do? Sure. Can do. We'll leave your identity aside for the time being. Let's prioritize getting through this. Your understanding is much appreciated. Until next we speak then.
<laughs> so you made it all the way here. You're... I knew it would be you. What a crowd I've gathered, eh? The SSS, the Grawls Ritter, and even daughters of the Reinford and Russell families. I may not have extended a formal invitation, but I welcome you all the same. Now, it's been an age since I last took a gander at your face, number nine. Imagine my surprise when I heard you left us. Ah, but I pale to that of the Thousand Oathbreaker and Golden Butterfly's reactions. They were deeply saddened by your departure. That would be almost heartwarming if I did not already know them well enough to see through your lie. So, this is Professor Novartis. That's right. He's behind developing the ions that caused so much trouble two years ago. He also supervises the Thirteen Factories. Our groups met him before, but never had a time for lengthy conversation. Well, I know him better at least. Long time no see, Professor. Indeed. I've not forgotten your value, my dear. Oh, no. It's unfortunate that you've become so... ordinary. Never was there a better source of power for the Ions than you. Oh, the second series that I created. Oh, it would have been a true marvel with your assistance. Keep treating my child like an object to be broken, and I'll use a real object to break your face. Ah, I do apologize. I'm not used to having guests, so I got a little carried away. I wish to extend my warmest salutations to you, daughter of the Black Workshop's chief. I trust you have enjoyed visiting my humble laboratory? I think you know very well that this was my factory before you had your way with it. And don't you dare refer to my father as the Chief of the Black Workshop again. Oh, I've hit yet another nerve. I mean no offense by what I say, I assure you. Then shut up about whatever before you piss off someone else. Now where the hell is Erica? We know you abducted her, so bring her back to us. You're here for my earlier guests, then? Fear not, they are safe and well. <laughs> you didn't just abduct Professor Russell? If it isn't the SSS, <laughs> Thank you for coming. Dr. Saland? He even stooped to kidnapping a medical doctor? Are you okay, Mom? Tita, why are you here? <sighs> Damn it, Red! Did you not hear me when I told you to keep her safe? What is wrong with you that you went and dragged her to such a danger? He didn't drag me anywhere. I wanted to come here. How could I not when all I'd be doing is worrying about you? Oh, sweetie. <laughs> My bad. This is what moms do, you know? We worry. I need to get used to loosening the reins, huh? Agate still sucks, though. Oh, leave me alone already. I don't get it. What reason was there to abduct Dr. Saland? We had heard you'd gone missing en route to a conference in Remetheria, but this wasn't where we expected to find you. A group of EDF soldiers captured me just as I started making my way there. I've since been helping that insufferable old man with his research. What kind of research? I shudder to think. Well, you needn't sound as though you haven't had your fill of fun with it. <laughs> I'm sure you're very proud of taking part of this noble pursuit I've conjured. Please, it piqued my curiosity at best. We might have been more interested if you hadn't pulled a carrot and stick method using the lives of Tita and St. Ursula's patients. I never imagined that you... Mom! What do you think you're doing? 
Oh, I'm afraid that if I allowed her to continue gabbing on, it would muddy the results of my experiments. But now that we have all of our subjects, ah, my manners have escaped me yet again. All of our participants assembled. Let us begin. What? Mm, this isn't good. <gasps> Tell me that's not who I think it is. Hey, Kruger. Keeping it tight with the SSS these days, huh? Who else? The Heavy Blade, Class 7? Huh. A few faces I don't know among you. It really is. The strongest enforcer in Ouroboros. McBurn might be the last guy I expected to see. This doesn't fit with the Church's reports at all. Nor does it match what I know. I was under the impression that he set off on an aimless journey upon the fall of the Imperial Fortress. I don't recall your relationship with the Professor as particularly amicable, so why have you come to his aid? Don't ask me. I want to know the same thing. What the hell kind of a leash you got me on? What? This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what indeed? Now, would you be so kind as to dispose of those before you? No need to be delicate. <clears throat> Fine. Whatever. Can't say I'm jumping for joy over this whole thing, but it ain't all bad for me. I've wanted to sink my teeth into the SSS and a grill night for a while now. Might as well make the best out of this. His blazing demon form! Even without the sword. I would have preferred to talk our way out of this, but also I'm not enough of a fool to believe that to be a viable option. I've only just come back home. I refuse to turn a blind eye to anyone who tries to harm it. On my name is the Sapphire Testament. I will do everything it takes to stop you. Count on it. If Reen's side could take him at the fortress, then we can do the same. We won't let anyone get in the way of Crossbell's rebirth. <laughs> Better give me a damn good show. Standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with steel wasn't some fluke for you, after all. Unbelievable. You got no stigma, no showy magic, and you ain't mixed like the Ashen Kid, either. You're as normal as they come, but you can still keep up with me! Yep. I'm just an ordinary detective. Maybe a little more stubborn than the average one. My strength comes from my friends. And with them here, I'm unstoppable! That's how the SSS is! I may not be one of the SSS, but I know what it means to draw strength from those dear to me. We all become better versions of ourselves just by being there for one another. So I'll always be there for you! So get him, Lloyd! He did it! Impressive, but he's not finished yet. <laughs> you got me. Only for a second, but you got me by brute forcing it. I like it when I find someone who really gets me hot. Yes! Yes! What's he doing? No! We can't let him finish! Is he trying to unleash his full power here? I 
I think the spirit veins here are screwed up enough that I can make it work. So show me what you can do now! Show me if being stubborn will save you from every part of you burning away till there's nothing left! <sighs> now I know what Gaius was telling me about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fine! I will! I'll give you exactly what you want! And overcome everything you throw at me! I'll push the Aeon system to its limits! Let's go! <sighs> the hell? Ugh. <sighs> I should have known that would be where you reached your limit. Total recreation of things governed by the divergent laws was always going to pose a challenge. That's machinery! Then is he... <sighs> I think I get it now. So, I'm not the real thing, am I? I don't... What does that mean? You do get it! It took years of development, years of testing, to bring this artificial tech to new, unfathomable heights! We have designed simulacra, mechanized dolls with the same abilities and thought patterns as their originals! And you, McBurn, are the ultimate simulacrum. <laughs> Simul... Samuel, what? I can tell he's not the same thing as a homunculus. Correct. Homunculi are one form of artificial life, but they're biological in nature. He is mechanical. How is it possible for a machine to be so precise? It... It isn't. The concept of a machine being so real that it doesn't even recognize it isn't, is downright unthinkable. You abducted Mom and Dr. Saland for this? In part, yes. The creation of Simulacra has been theorized for quite some time. I enlisted their help more for reproducing the Divergent Laws. As you can see, the results were woefully far from ideal. Well, uh, it's always next time. He's gonna... Get down! What is the matter with you? Does the work you put into this facility mean so little? It meant something quite grand, as it happens. But it has outlived its use. Everything required, Zauber soldats and all, has been produced. Its fall will not impede the Supreme Leader's ambitions in the slightest. Ah, do not misunderstand. I don't support him in the sense you're thinking. Merely that aiding him also helps to feed my unending curiosity. You're a monster. I suspected that was why you were helping. Whatever he wants in life, he'll get it. No matter who stands to be hurt along the way. You're a bigger piece of shit than Schmidt's ever been. <laughs> Say what you will, but this has been well worth my while. I've gained such valuable data! I may have failed to fully replicate the Divergent Laws, but next time... <laughs> you little... Wish I could do the same thing to you, but we'll call it here for this time. Better start praying, asshole. Wouldn't want the real me to find out about this stunt. 
We really are so very different, you and I. What's done is done. I may not have the specifics, but I have the majority of the results committed to memory. Now, I have others to tend to, so with that, I bid you a good day. Others? I'd like to know that myself. This isn't good. The fire's spreading fast. All right. Let's get Erica and Salen out of here. I'll unlock the door. Tita! Mom! Thank Adios, you're all right. Thank you for the help. We can talk more after we've escaped. Yes, we should hurry. What about you? Yeah, don't worry about it. See you, Bannings. This was fun. If you run into Crow and the Ashen Kid, tell him I say hi. There it is! Professor, Doctor, you two go first! Thank you. We're almost there, Mom! <sighs> go ahead of me, Tita! Save it! Just run! <sighs> Damn it! That sound. Is that? Get on, Noel. All good? <laughs> well, I'm in one piece. Since when did you get a bike that cool? I've been practicing how to ride it in secret, so I could surprise you in style. Guess I pulled it off, huh? I'm so glad I made it. <laughs> you put the fear of Adios in me at the end there. <laughs> My bad. But thanks for the backup. Yeah. I owe you both my life. <laughs> so you do. You two scared me half to death! None of you are hurt, are you? <laughs> 